Hi, 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 friends. Hello. Welcome to a Sunday live stream. Happy April. Um, happy to have you here with me today. We are going to be going back to uh, acrylic markers. I almost said alcohol markers, but we're going to be doing acrylic markers for um, something different from last time. Good morning. Hello. Hello, friends. Hi, I'm so glad I caught a stream. Hi, welcome. So we are going to be working in this Arteza sketchbook and it is so close to being done, guys. I'm so excited. Um, as you might know, I take a very, very long time to finish sketchbooks. So there's like one, two, three, four. There's like four or five like full pages. No, six. It's for me, this is like very close where we're yeah, I mean, it'll still be probably a number of uh, months until I finish it, but we're getting there and it's been a long time coming because I started this sketchbook, I think in 2019. So yeah, this is a juicy one. There's like a lot in here. So it's going to be a very good sketchbook flip through um, sketchbook tour when it finally happens. So I'm just like letting people file in, you know, uh, catching up with you guys. What, how has everyone's weekend been? Um, I finally got to be on a live stream since the beginning. Ooh, so happy to have you from the very start. Um, yes, I am trying to find the page that I am going to be working on today. It's like in the middle of this sketchbook. Let's see. But how's everyone's weekends been? I'm, uh, oh, here we go. Your bangs look super good today. Oh, thanks, Bia. So nice. I, um, yeah, it's so funny because I originally was planning to like wash all of my hair today, um, but I was running out of time because I slept in. And so the beauty of having bangs is I just washed the bangs and then just like put my the rest of my hair up. So thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. So as the thumbnail and title suggests, I am going to be... Wait, that's such a hack, right? It's such a time saver. Um, Cause like for me, because my hair is super, super straight, I find that it like looks greasy really, really quickly, but it's just like not realistic to have to wash my like, whole head every day. Um, so yeah, just wash the bangs, good to go. Very good, I'm almost finished with my graphic novel so I can get it graded. <gasps> Ian, that's amazing. Good job. Finishing a graphic novel, that's like a very big accomplishment. So you should be proud of yourself. Um, but yes, as the title suggests, we are going to be, or you guys are going to give me some fan art requests and I will draw some of them. I obviously can't promise to draw every single one, um, but I thought that would be kind of fun. I've done that in the past before. And this is an example spread of some fan art requests that I've done before. So we've got Itachi from Naruto. We have Todoroki in A Flower Crown from My Hero Academia. We have Kuro from Haikyuu, Jane from Daria, Inuyasha, and Kirby at the bottom. And this ended up being like the perfect red, blue, purple spread, which is super fun. <laughs> um, the little Kirby on the bottom is making me giggle. Isn't he so funny? <laughs> I, it's so funny cause I'm not a gamer, but I love Kirby. Like, I don't know what it is. He's just a little guy. I am obsessed. Like when I went to the Kirby cafe in Japan, I was living my best life. Um, and whenever I, the few times I play Super Smash Bros, I usually pick Kirby and then just button smash. And uh, it's a great time. <laughs> Sailor Mars would be would fit perfectly here. She would, wouldn't she? Yeah, she totally would. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, for the this side, wouldn't I think it'd be kind of fun if we did like a different color theme, like, yeah, maybe lean more cool tone or something just because this side is definitely like red so it'd be kind of fun if this side was like 
more blue or um, green. I don't know. Um, hi, Creative Phenomenon. Hi, welcome, welcome. Sailor Mars, Sasuke. Uh, if you're feeling up to it, I'd love an FMA character. <gasps> coming from my heart I love full metal so much okay I'm I'm feeling I'm definitely feeling some full metal alchemist vibes I think that could be a great start maybe you could draw sans a NET's cat character <gasps> oh my god that'd be so cute oh my god I actually just saw Newton I just saw a TikTok of San I think it was like just an audio stream that he did of um him talking about his cat character i forget what the name is uh, San, sandoki or something like that um but he claims that his plushy cat character is a girl and i think that's so sweet and apparently like people are like what about what sandoki's boyfriend and he's like no she's not allowed to have a boyfriend um he's like so so um girl dad coded i love it what about toothless from how to train your dragon oh my god that'd be so cute i am concerned about my ability to draw a dragon but we we could try um alston hi hi tina i'm finally becoming a gaming girly Ooh, i love that for you new ipad who dis apple arcade is fun what about my fave lesbian sailor uranus she had blue in her palette Ooh, sailor uranus could be good yes yes we live we love i actually it's so funny alston when i was going through this there's this one sketchbook page here that um, has two of the outer Sailor Scouts on it. So I feel like at some point in time, maybe during a live stream, I have to do the lesbian icon icons that they are and put uh, Uranus and Pluto, not Pluto, Uranus and Neptune down here. It's just a matter of time. Like, surely. Uh, what about Manwa characters? Ooh, that could be fun. I'm really into Manwas. Um, there's so many out there. I do love good manhwa. So, just as uh, a heads up for anyone, could you draw Jang'an from Seventeen? <gasps> Jang'an! Oh my god! Coming from my heart, I love Jang'an so much. Um, he is my Libra fellow, fellow Libra. Princess Peach. Ooh, that could be cute. Um, happy Sunday. Wait, can you doodle a random frog in the corner somewhere? I'm trying to fill a regular sized piece of paper completely with frogs and it's taking forever. Pretty cool tone or green. Ooh, cute. Yes, I think actually um, what I think will be good, which is what actually happened with Kirby, I feel like, is I did a lot of like por portrait characters and then, you know, there's always like little gaps to be filled. So I think a little frog as like a filler later on will be perfect. Um, and we can also like decide what kind of frog based off of what the color palette ends up being. Lance from Voltron. Oh, Voltron. Man, they dropped the ball with that last season, right? I loved that show though. Um, maybe Buddha from Record of Ragnarok. He has some cool tones, but whatever characters you choose, the outcome will be spectacular. Thank you so much. I'm actually not familiar with that series, unfortunately. Um, what do you think about uh, Patisserie Peach from Princess peach showtime i'm not familiar as i mentioned i'm not actually a gamer girly that's like my nerdy blind spot so i'm only like familiar with like baseline you know like mario kart characters <laughs> um have you drew any other naruto characters apart from itachi let me tell you okay like when i was in high school i was obsessed with naruto i used to do so much naruto fan art uh, I was like a hardcore Sakura Sasuke shipper um, maturing is realizing that their relationship is kind of a disaster but um, yeah I was obsessed so yes yeah, so, so much Sasuke Sakura fan art um, Kakashi and um, yeah I was obsessed but not a lot of new Naruto fan art for me Gojo Ooh, Gojo could be good Ooh. We love Gojo in this household. Um, you said if you were a gamer, you would be into Kingdom Hearts. What about some Mickey characters? True, that could be cute. I, I think that could be another good filler as well, like this Kirby, like somewhere kind of small to fill out some areas. 
I'm using the phrase nerdy blind spot from now on. Isn't it so funny? Like, I'm pretty sure I came up with myself. Maybe I heard it some from somewhere. I don't know. But like, coined. Trademarked. <laughs> oh, I love your Jane, uh, Jane Lane drawing. Thank you. I love Daria. Love Daria. So I, whoever had like suggested Jane Lane uh, back whenever I did this, chef's kiss. What about Tiana from Princess and the Frog? That could be really cute if we end up leaning a little bit green. Uh, I love your fan art. Can't wait to see the other. what others suggest. I can't think of one right now. I think all of your Sailor Moon and Sailor, uh, Scout fan art already. Thanks so much. Yeah, I've drawn lots of Sailor Moon fan art over the years. How about Mamaru from Sailor Moon? The 90s series, not Crystal. 90s series. That green blazer. Iconic. Maybe Princess Rosalina from Mario Kart. Fun, fun. Um, she's the blonde, bright blonde with the teal outfit. Hey everyone, glad to be here. Hello. Um, oh my god, I'm re-watching Inuyasha for the millionth time. <gasps> oh my god, who's your fave character? Who's your fave Inuyasha character? For me, it's actually Koga. I love Koga. <laughs> He's so feral. <laughs> The green one from Powerpuff Girls. Oh, we love Buttercup in this household. Absolutely. What color palettes are you using? That's a thing. I haven't. I haven't fully settled. I think um, someone earlier had suggested I pick a Full Metal character, Full Metal Alchemist character. So I think that might be like where we start. Although I don't even know which Full Metal character I want to draw. And like Full Metal, actually, a lot of the color palettes are. It's just like red or blue. Like there's not a lot of. And Greed, gr like Ling Greed is my favorite character, and he's like just wears black. So I guess we could kind of go anywhere from there. Jane's brother Trent, I love Daria too, so underrated. <gasps> Trent, didn't we all have a crush on him? He was the the grunge blueprint, like grunge boyfriend blueprint. Can you draw a dark skin character uh, with flowers in her afro? I'm actually going to be doing fan art today, so I will put a pause on that request maybe in the future, but we are doing like, yeah, specific characters today. Sango, ooh yes, new jeans versions of Powerpuff Girls, oh my god. Super shy, super shy, so good, love. Um, could you do Tanjiro or Rangoku? tenjiro has got a green palette. That's true. That's true. Oh my god. Demon Slayer. New season. Soon. Excited. Winry. We love Winry. Reds, blues, and blacks. I actually... Okay. Yu Yu Hakusho was a series that I feel like I should have watched back in the day, but for some reason I never did. I love Hawkeye and Mustang personally, and their uniforms are blue. It's true. It's true. Ooh, maybe I draw Roy Mustang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like... That's like a fan favorite. Your live stream is at the perfect time for me. Yay, perfect, perfect. Princess Yue. Oh, I used, I did a fan art of Princess Yue like way back in the day. Um, yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. We're gonna do Roy Mustang from Full Metal because I think I think we gotta go blue. I think that's that'll be fun. And then we'll like branch from there. Maybe it'll be like some blues and greens. Maybe we'll lean all blue. But then it's kind of fun because Roy is a flame alchemist. And so that kind of ties into this side with the red. You know, we're seeing the vision. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so let me pull up a reference photo. Roy Mustang. I'm here for the people, okay? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I could also, when he does his, um, his little snap, it's like blue, like, kind of like sparks. So if I really just want to like lean into the blue, that could work too. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm obsessed. I might have to rewatch Full Metal again for like the eighth time. Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, specifically. Okay. <laughs> 
Slam Dunk fan art. Oh my God, okay, I feel like I really need to watch Slam Dunk. I feel like I'm missing out. Um, uh, that's a series that I actually haven't seen. But I know like the movie came out recently, like the new movie. Did you guys want the reference photo up? Maybe I'll put the reference photo up you guys, for you guys. Or is that gonna take too long to set that up? Okay, maybe I won't. Okay, 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 okay. Brotherhood supremacy. I know, right? I talked, okay. <laughs> I went to, I went to this event and I was talking to this guy and we were talking about anime and as, you know, as a nerdy person in the wild does. And <laughs> he was like, I actually liked Full Metal Alchemist better than Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And I was like, that is a hot take and I am judging you. <laughs> <laughs> especially with the lighting that you like to do ah oh, that's so true okay you right you right all right okay let's let's uh let's put them up in the corner here okay all right all right i have not done any like warm-up sketching today so you guys are in for a ride get optimal angle here for you what have you been watching lately um yes good question I I actually I mentioned this last live stream that I am currently obsessed with has been hotel I actually watched it a second time all the way through with my friend and we had a great time. So that's something I've been uh, obsessed with, been like listening to that soundtrack nonstop. And I still haven't watched Hell of a Boss yet, but I definitely will be soon. I have been loving season 16 of RuPaul's Drag Race. I am team Nymphia and team Plain Jane. I haven't seen the newest episode yet, but I am probably gonna watch that like later today. <laughs> my, my thing is, I'm worried about him taking up too much space, but I also really want to draw like his him actually performing alchemy so let's maybe I'll do the arm crossing like this and then that'll be like the the cutoff yeah so this kind of shape here oh my god vote yellow right team nymphia team banana love her you could draw the guy from the anime you told us about that you watched with the guy who got powers from being a 30 year old virgin <laughs> oh my god okay so Austin is referring to the fact that during my patreon live stream this I'm uh, not patreon uh my patreon podcast this month I had talked about this um anime that I watched called cherry magic and the premise is so goofy literally it's about this guy who gains magical powers when he turns 30 because he's a virgin and then he uh, the, his magical powers as a virgin um, is that whenever he like comes into physical contact with somebody he can read their mind and like their thoughts and then he accidentally like bumps into his like hot male work co-worker and turns out this hot male co-worker is in love with him and I was like this is so stupid and fun and campy and yeah sign me up so I watched all of it and it was a great time <laughs> Okay, let me, so yeah, I have been, wa I watched that, that was fun. Um, last night my friend came over and we watched, I think I'm, he's like a little bit too close over here. Um, my, yeah, my friend and I, every other week we have a little drunk anime night 
uh, anime and k-pop night so she came over yesterday and we finished the sixth season of my hero academia i know that season uh, season seven has like just started so it was kind of perfect timing I think that is better. It gives more space for his shoulder. Way of the House Husband. I actually haven't seen that yet. It looks fun though. I think my hesitation with it is, if I'm remembering correctly, the anime is like, the way that they do it, it like feels like you're reading the panels of the manga, right? Which is like kind of strange to me. I've watched both. One leaves too many gaps in the story. Yeah, exactly. Like Brotherhood follows the manga and so the story is just like better weaved through. It just like makes way more sense. Today I'm painting a photo of someone as a gift for them. That's so nice, aww. Uh, I won't be drawing along because I'm watching a show with my fam in half an hour. Totally fair. What are you guys watching? Oh, have you done RuPaul's Drag Race fan art? I have actually. Um, yeah, I have not done so on a YouTube video before, but like if you scroll around in my um, Instagram page, you'll you'll see random things here and there. I remembered uh, Shea Coulee follows me on Instagram. I don't know if she still does, but at some point she did because I did fan art of her and I po like tagged her and she follows me on Instagram and she or she did at one point, which was like very cool. Um, and then I remembered I did fan art of Kimchi and she had reposted it in her stories like way, way back. And I was like, oh my God, love. Don't forget to like the stream, guys. Thanks, Bia. You're so nice. Um, oh, and Tina, since the last stream, I've used your brushes quite frequently and know how to control them now. They are so good and precise. Yay! Nifty! I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> waiting for marriage. and eh, Waiting for superpowers. Absolutely. What superpowers do we want, guys? What's your What's your preferred superpower? For me, 100% teleport teleportation. Like, I had... Uh, an eight hour flight to Vancouver last weekend. And even though I've done longer flights before, I was just like, this is brutal. Yes, I apologize that the sketching process, especially on this first one, is going to be slow because I, like I mentioned, I haven't warmed up sketching wise today and admittedly, if I'm being very honest with you, I'm a t just the tiniest bit hungover. <laughs> um, drink responsibly, friends. Um, but so I'm just a little, you know, it's going to take me a little bit to get into the, the rhythm of things here. So bear with me. But this is the, this is the reality of a lot of my, of uh, sketching is like, sometimes it goes quickly and sometimes it's like painstakingly slow. <laughs> but you know, with the magic of YouTube editing, it might look like it's super fast and easy peasy lemon squeezy. Maybe Nell too from Bleach. <gasps> I love Bleach. Love, love, love. 
chef's kiss oh my god actually a bleach character on this spread that'd be good i love bleach uh last season of my hair academia was a vibe it was crazy like dark deku we were joking we we're like he's basically batman right now like <laughs> Like he was like talking in this like low voice and we just kept being like, I am just, I'm the knight. <laughs> have you ever drawn Nightwing and Starfire? I haven't. I'm kind of surprised I haven't actually because I love Nightwing and I love Teen Titans. Um, so I know that Night, like it's Teen Titans is Robin, but that's how I know Starfire um, is from Teen Titans. I heard the anime is watching like, a, is like watching a PowerPoint. Yeah, see... I feel like that's not how I want to watch anime, unfortunately. But I've, I know people love Way of the House Husband. Um, Netflix just added Spy Family and I'm obsessed. Oh my god, already watched the first 25 episodes. Ah, oh, Spy Family's so cute. I've read like some of the manga too. Um, yeah, Spy Family's adorable. Did you know that they're coming out with a movie in theaters? I haven't... Where am I in Spy Family? Maybe this is like the tiniest, teeniest spoiler, but I've seen up to like when they get their little doggy, um, <laughs> when they get Bond, then that's kind of, kind of where I, which is still far back now, I think, but Spy Family is very, very cute. So for my Full Metal Alchemist girlies, um, I am using, the reference photo that I'm using for Roy Mustang here is when he's facing off with Lust. Because that scene was epic AF. Just picking the most epic reference photo, no biggie. I know, right? Like, it's like when he's like literally using one hand to like singe his wound closed and then using the other hand to like literally set her on fire. Um, <laughs> it's like, yeah, peak, peak Roy Mustang. I want to read minds. Ooh. I feel like you gotta have tough skin to uh, to read people's minds. Yes, I second you on teleportation, right? Teleportation is so OP. <laughs> I know, right? It kind of is, but flying. Ooh, flying would be good. We are watching uh, De Mol. It's a Belgian TV series. Multiple countries have made their own versions too. Cool, love. I'm working on my bullet journal theme for May. It's such a relaxing vibe here. Perfect. Love that. Working on for May. Wow. You get, you're like far ahead. Doing it in advance. I was like, I got this panic for a second. I was like, didn't we just start April? <laughs> it's super cool to watch you sketch. We're all just vibing. Okay, good, good, good. Does getting out of bed easily in the morning count as a superpower? Because I'm desperate. I mean, that would be very efficient. I only have a few more years to go for my superpowers, Tina. I want telekine telekinesis. Um, also, I just did fan art um, of Ella Enchanted, Anne Hathaway was so cute and still is. Oh my god, love Ella Enchanted. Also, I love Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is a queen. And also, telekinesis would be amazing. I'm so lazy. I have a lip chap in every single room of my apartment so that I don't have to like get up to go get it <laughs> like so telekinesis would be great yeah I think I'm too sensitive to read people's minds like I wouldn't want that power <laughs> like I don't want to hear people potentially judging me or criticizing me <laughs> How about Toshiro Hitsugaya? 
inori you're coming from my heart he is my favorite from bleach i love him so much <laughs> i've actually drawn him before in a six fan arts um page was that i don't remember if that was either an instagram live stream way back during the like the height of the pandemic or if it was on a youtube video but i love him love Oh, so today you draw what we request or was it already chosen on Instagram? I'm drawing what people request on site. Um, so we started off with someone suggesting Full Metal Alchemist and I got to pick the character. Um, so I originally was going to go with Ling slash Greed because he's my favorite, but then someone suggested Roy Mustang and we were like, oh yeah, let's do a blue color palette since this side is very red. So that's what we're doing. So. Um, I will I will return to more requests after we get to finishing this, which he's already taking up like so much of this page, so who knows how many we're gonna do. And also I'm very slow, so um, but that's not laziness, that's efficiency. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Women in STEM, okay. <laughs> hey Tina, hi chat, hi. Did you used to watch Kamikaze Kaito Jian? That was my favorite anime as a kid. I think Sinbad would fit for Blue as well. I actually have not seen that one. At first, when I when I started reading your your message, I thought we were gonna talk. I thought you were gonna say Kami Kama Cha Charin Karin Kami Kami Chama Karin. Was that what it was called? It was like a magical anime. I was obsessed with the with the manga back in the day. Are you going to use Poscas or alcohol markers? I am going to be using Poscas like this one. So I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do paint markers. It'll be Poscas and like Molotov markers just to like, you know, match this uh, match this page. And also it's been a little while since I've used paint markers. So I'm excited. These are genuinely my favorite live streams. Aw, thanks Mila. I appreciate it. I'm glad. I love doing these. It's so much fun. I just did a closet and now have the urge to a uh, closet. I'm assuming closet clean out, right? And now have the urge to buy more clothes I don't need. I feel you. I need to do a closet clean out. Spring cleaning, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw most of the body, like the figure first, and then I'll get to the face last. Um, so let's, the bane of my existence hands so this hand is going to be on holding on um, the lighter okay actually that wasn't that bad <laughs> okay I know you've done a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender fan art lately, but what's a blue themed spread without Water Tribe? It's true. It's true. We do love... I am team Water Tribe for sure. In terms of like, I would want to be a waterbender if I was in Avatar The Last Airbender personally. Like, water bending, ice, healing, blood bending, like, the possibilities. <laughs> Have you ever drawn either of the Nanas from Nana? LOL, you love that manga, right? I did. I have not drawn Nana fan art in a very, very long time, but I definitely have done Nana and Ren fan art back, back, back in the day. I definitely would love to return and maybe do some more in the future.
So basically what's happening that I'm drawing right now is he has like a military jacket and then he also has like a white button up underneath that's been opened um, because he's like healing, um, like singeing, searing like a wound close. Of course I picked the photo where his like shirt is open. <laughs> Don't judge me. Not that bad is what I aim for when drawing hands. Honestly, it's true. You just gotta be like, all right, that's could be worse. Could be worse. Or maybe Zuko with that one mask on. <gasps> yeah, his blue spirit mask. That would be good. I don't know if Toji would fit on this page. I'm so sorry, but I'm a sim for him. Oh my god, he is too pretty. We love Daddy Toji. Like, he is a walking red flag, but I am a bull, okay? Like, <laughs> we love Toji. <laughs> Dang, school got so hectic, I forgot all about the Momo frenemy. Aw, that's okay. I mean, you technically still have a little over a week to join my character design contest. I mean, obviously, you don't even have to make the deadline if you're okay with, like, not being entered for the sketchbook uh giveaway but is that kudo it is i love him i'm i am patiently but not so patiently waiting for the haiku movie to come to canada theaters i'm probably gonna have to go by myself but that's fine i'm excited katara was so dope at the end with her water bedding school skills yes we love katara she is a queen what are your thoughts on the magical girl genre? Obviously Sailor Moon is a given, but have you watched other ones like Magical Magica? Yes. I, what, which ones have you seen? I've seen, I love the magical girl genre. Um, I am so sassy today. I'm doing a lot of this. Um, <laughs> probably been watching so much Drag Race. Um, but uh, yes, Sailor Moon, Revolutionary Girl Utena, Magical Magica, Cardcaptor Sakura, what else have I seen? Is that it? I never watched Tokyo Mew Mew, unfortunately. Um, oh, Kamichama Karin was a manga that I read. I don't think I watched the anime. Um, is that it? I think so. Okay, I think that's like the general structure that I want here for the body so we are going to finally get into drawing the face So usually I like to start with the general sh rough shape of the head and then we I do the nose first. We are not complaining about the shirt. <laughs> See, this is, this is, you are my people. We're all just here for hot fictional characters. <laughs> What's your favorite chorus season? I'm watching again with my boyfriend. Good question. I haven't seen Korra since it aired, so <laughs> it's been a very long time. Um, I think I want to say potentially the first season, just because I felt like Amon and the whole theme of non-benders rebelling against benders was a really good concept, and I think think was like a really interesting idea to explore
but again it's been so long since i've watched Korra, so my opinion could potentially be different if i were to revisit it Oh my gosh. Characters always look so... He looks like... You know what he looks like? Austin Butler's character in Dune 2. <laughs> right? I love Kudo. I got a little Nen droid of him recently. It's so cute. Oh my god, I love those things. I'm obsessed with watching people do like um, little animations or like stop motions with them on TikTok. It's so adorable. I have to like, I gotta reel myself in though. Um, the anime figures that I'm willing to buy at this point is I'm like on the email notify list for the Gojo and Geto lookup figures. They're so freaking cute. Uh, so I'm waiting on those. I'm like, I need, it's not a want, it's a need at this point. <laughs> LOL, the post watching drag race sassiness is so real, <laughs> right? Yesterday when my friend and I were at like peak drunk, we were like, we put on a compilation video of all the best drag race reads. So good. Oh my god, I also forgot the Momo friend of me. School start next week, so no draw, but learn and suffering. Aw, it's okay, don't worry. You can always do it another time, you know? There's no like timeline, there's no real timeline if you're okay with like not entering for the sketchbook. I agree, love the first season of Korra, right? And I feel like Mako was more tolerable <laughs> in the first like Mako I don't know what happened but he just got worse with each passing season from what I remember Thing. Hold on. Sometimes you just have to hold this, you have to like hold it up to see what's going on here. Okay. I think this eye is off. No bald shaming. <laughs> Aang is the best, obviously. We love Aang. Honestly, as a chronic rewatcher of things, I got excited when I realized I haven't watched something in a while because it's like, well, here we go. I'm same, 100%. I am def definitely a rewatcher of things that I love dearly, but I also have to like prevent myself from watching it too soon because then I like potentially will like ruin the magic a little bit. <laughs> Um, I was thinking of doing a Blueberry Boy or something similar, like they were childhood friends and then she made her girl gang and felt left out because he's a guy, so he starts his own boy gang. I love that! Yes, absolutely. Like, for the Momo Frenemy challenge, you can definitely draw a boy or, you know, a they, them, whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be a girl. I ha As an Avatar fan, I haven't watched The Legend of Korra, but I want to see it, but at the same time, I don't want to see it. I know, I understand. It's like very conflicting. That's like, you know, I think a lot of people feel that way about the live action as well. I would say Korra is probably more, more worth watching than the live action, to be honest. Like the live action Netflix. 
I will say with Korra, while I didn't love it for um, a number of different reasons, the animation is really good. Like you can tell that they've, you know, up the budget and they've come a long way since Avatar. And they do explore a lot of interesting concepts. But yeah, unfortunately it just did not quite live up to the magic of the original Avatar. Like Avatar Last Airbender really truly feels like lightning in a bottle. It was... It's so good and so timeless. The first season of Korra, they had their crap together, lol. Mako was a lot, but them eyebrows were <laughs> chef's kiss. <laughs> we do love a fierce eyebrow. I recently watched uh, One Day on Netflix and bawled my eyes out. Oh my god! Aww. I'm rewatching Korra right now and I really think it was just the writing that failed Mako. Yeah, I think so. I think he had a lot of potential and I remember being really excited about his character initially. But yeah, there was some, some character assassination there for sure. Oh, the little Kirby down there. Right? Mwah. Oh my gosh, yay, I caught Tina's live stream. Hi! Hello, welcome, welcome. I think Mako is a king for being so chill about his exes getting together. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yuzu wears a yellow uniform and I name her Yuzu because she's sour while Mamo is sweet. Oh my god, that's so cute! I love that. One time I finished Avatar the Last... Uh, one time I finished Avatar uh, for the ninth time, I immediately went back to episode one. It's so good. It really is. I'm currently rewatching it as well, and I'm on season three, and I'm like already feeling nostalgic for season one. <laughs> live action ruined the song Secret Tunnel. The song was so short in the live action, I was so sad. Secret Tunnel! Secret Tunnel! Oh, bless. <laughs> My frenemy is called Viv, short for Vivian, because I think Momo and Viv sound so cute together. I'm deaf going for the enemies to lovers. <gasps> I love enemies to lovers. Obsessed. <laughs> um, yeah, I we've talked about this before. Like my favorite tropes, like uh, story tropes, is enemies to lovers, or or and uh, found family. Found family in general, and then any lovers if it's like romantic. I love the spice. I love the tension. I love the the banter that comes from enemies to lovers. Hey Tina, hi. How did you find the new series on Netflix? Okay. Thoughts, thoughts. I mean, we've definitely talked about the live action Avatar like in the past like two or three live streams, which is fine because that's what I'm here for. Um, but to be honest, I didn't think that the, I think, I think the writing was its main problem. Um, there was like so much telling and not showing. Um, it really felt like they felt the need to do exposition and explain everything to the audience as if we wouldn't like they I, I hate when a script or a story talks down at the audience and is like not subtle at all about its storytelling um it's so interesting to me how avatar like the original animated series which originally was aimed for children like it was you know marketed as a children's tv show did like more subtle and intelligent storytelling in 
basically the same runtime as the live action Netflix version, which kept claiming to be like a darker, grittier, older, mature version. Um, so yeah, um, I think for me, I thought the casting was good. It was just the scripts were bad. So, you know, the actors can only do so much with a bad script and you can't really get past like poor pacing or story beats and you know things like that I saw a great video explaining why the fans should have known Korra would be so different because Korra is the water avatar and water is the element of change. Ooh, that is a really good point. Um, and I, yeah, I do think it is fair that, um, or I do like that they chose to make Korra a very different character from Aang, like in so many different ways. Like Aang was like sweet and demure and chill <laughs> and had like a lot of humility, whereas Korra was like brash and bold and stubborn. Um, so I do like that contrast, but I think with Korra, they unfortunately had, um, apparently on the production end, like they were sort of they were only given like season by season, which meant each season had to be a self-contained story because they didn't know if they were gonna have another season. Whereas with Avatar, they knew that they were gonna have three seasons so they could have like the overarching plot, which to me is more compelling and allows you to have those like great character arcs and stories like Zuko. Whereas if you don't know you're gonna get another season, you can't really execute that same kind of uh, character development. I'm having a really hard time with his hair right now, as you, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> it's like flying in the wind, but also I don't want it to be too, you know, like Dragon Ball Z-esque because with Roy, his hair is kind of more chill usually. But I do want like the sense of movement here. Okay, I think that should work. Okay. He doesn't really look like Roy Mustang, I think because, I mean, once we get like the uniform in perhaps, or maybe, maybe I made his hair look too long. That might be it actually. And also like the, av um, <laughs> talking about Avatar so much, the full metal style, the faces are a lot rounder and I tend to draw my male characters with like slightly more elongated chiseled faces. <laughs> But I think the hair length actually is what's probably gonna help because Roy's hair is cropped. It's not it's not like mullety, which I'm like very uh, prone to doing. The K-pop brain rot probably. Love we love a we love a mullet. <laughs> okay. Okay, I missed a lot of the chat. Hold on. Uh, I'm not late, am I? Uh, I started uh, about an hour ago, so you're all good. I mean, clearly I'm taking a long time on this sketch, so don't you worry. Um, enemies to lovers and rivals to lovers are my fave. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes. I love enemies to rivals to friends to lovers. Like, chef's kiss. <laughs> Hello, Tina. How are you today? I'm still... T uh, are you still taking fan art requests? Are you pick them in advance? Um, I'm going to be taking them as we go. So once I finish Roy Mustang here, I will like take on more as we go. The 
t considering the fact that it's already been an hour and I haven't even started coloring yet, like we're we're probably not going to get through a lot of characters, unfortunately. But there's many more live streams to come that we can do this. Uh, I get in my OC making mood whenever I watch Avatar or Legend of Korra. I love that. There's so many great characters. Uh, Tina, hi. I've been super busy with the art contest you're doing. You inspired me to pick up my Procreate again. <gasps> Andy, that's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. That's so fun. LL, taking, talking about the Avatar Last Airbender live action has become a permanent bullet point every Tina live. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I feel like I need to have like an elevator pitch now. It's like... Let me give you my thoughts. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I mean, I think it's because I talk about Avatar so much and you guys know that I love it. So it's like, yes, I will. I will talk about it until like I run out of breath. Like I just love. I feel like lots of shows coming out today do that talking down unsubtle thing. It makes it hard to find new stuff. Yeah, I agree. Oh yes, I also thought the same, like, Aang talks so much in complaint and stuff. Like, yeah, like, when you open the series with Aang being like, I'm just a kid who wants to have fun and play with my friends. It's like, why would you say that out loud about yourself? Like, just show us him having fun and playing with his friends. Like, make it make sense. <laughs> I've never watched Avatar Last Airbender, so if I ever watch it, uh, going to be completely fresh. <gasps> Imagine being able to watch Avatar Last Airbender for the first time. Mila, I hope you get around to it and I hope you love it because it's truly something else. It is literally my favorite TV show of all time. <laughs> um, also, maturity shouldn't have anything to do with how gritty something is. I agree 100%. Like just because you show like the genocide that doesn't make the show better or more mature or like whatever it's just like it just feels gratuitous and unnecessary have you watched k dramas i have been uh i've been, been watching so many from january to right now i have probably watched over 10 k dramas so far k dramas is actually a foray that i have yet to uh, venture into I'm sure that when I do it'll be like a black hole much like um, k-pop but I have not gone down that rabbit hole just yet um, I know that Netflix seems to have a lot of them on there right now and I've had some of you recommend some to me in the past so it's definitely something I'm interested in but just haven't gotten around to just yet currently i'm i'm actually on like a bit of an anime kick so i yeah i've been watching anime and i've been watching uh k-pop variety shows <laughs> right now i'm watching all of to do which is txt's um variety show because <gasps> I mentioned this on my podcast already, on my Patreon podcast, but I got TXT tickets! <laughs> I'm so excited! Um, I'm going to the Sunday show in New York City. So excited. So if any of you are going to be seeing Tomorrow by Together in New York that weekend, you may or may not run into me. <laughs> Look what you've done to me, Tina. Now I'm drawing Aang. Aw, I love that though. You can't escape Aang. Can't escape the Avatar. Not comparing, but I think that's why I loved the live action One Piece. We got flashbacks instead of characters saying, this happened in my past, which is why I'm like this, I guess. Yeah, totally. I do think that the, the One Piece live action was definitely much more successful. 
I don't know if you're into Percy Jackson at all, but I felt the same way about the new show. They gave away every single plot point, plus felt like the audience wasn't trusted to follow along and make, um, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I actually um, have down, I have purchased the Percy Jackson audiobook because I was like, I feel like this is a series that I would like, but I haven't listened to it yet, so I haven't watched the show either. But 100%, like, that's definitely what happened with live act, like, the live action avatar is like, yeah, they just like didn't trust the intelligence or like comprehension skills of the audience. They just had to be like spelling everything out like a bajillion times. They have kept being like, Aang is the avatar and he is going to restore balance. Like they like they explained that to us in like every episode. It's like, we know. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> or like Zuko would have to explain like where he was coming from, like at every turn. It's like, let us like, let us like, you gotta like slowly trickle in the information. Don't just like hit us like a freight train with it. Animate characters as K-pop idols is slay. <laughs> right? Like, it all makes sense. Like, I have been an anime nerd for so long, and then getting into K-pop and seeing the styling and the hairstyles, I was like, it's all coming together. It just makes sense. Like, the, Venn, the, the overlapping Venn diagram of K-pop fans and anime fans is just... Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, sunny day finally, but we had Twilight vibes this week, so obviously I did some rewatch. Oh, yes, love. I recently rewatched some of Mike's Mike's. Mike's Mike? Yeah, Mike's Mike's. <laughs> um, uh, videos um, like commentating or uh, doing commentary on the Twilight movies. That's how I like kind of rewatch them, and he is so funny. I live. <laughs> okay. I think, I think that's essentially, oh yes, okay, and then we're gonna do the, like, sparks around as well, but I guess I don't really need to draw then. Okay, or maybe I do. Do I want to go around it? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Sure, okay. Okay, I think that's basically it. More or less. Okay. Oh, it's been a while since I've used paint markers. So, fingers crossed, friends. I also pulled out some colored pencils for um, a potential option as well, which could be fun. We'll see. Yes, we love TXT in here. Yes! It's coming together. Love seeing him in your style. Thank you. I just got Netflix back and watched a bunch of K-drama. Netflix has so many great ones. When you're ready, we can totally send you a bunch of recommendations on Instagram stories or something. Yes, I'm sure. Honestly, when I'm like, I'm ready, I'll probably make like, yeah, like Instagram stories or like, honestly, just during a live stream even um, when I want the recommendations. But yeah, currently, currently not in my K-drama adventure just yet. Uh, to do is so fun. Wow. I'm happy for you getting tickets. Thank you. I'm so excited um, Going okay before the concert right now. It's a toss-up for my bias being Subin or Yeonjun So let's see we'll see what happens when I come out of the concert because like sometimes when you go to a concert your bias changes You know, you never know <laughs> The Percy Jackson books are so fun. I read them as a kid, but recently did reread. I'm biased, but I think you'll love them. I think I will too. Like I, w in terms of novels, I was always like more compelled by like YA series, like Hunger Games. Uh, I read Twilight with the, uh, the Mortal Instruments, Harry Potter. Um, obviously they are not all made equal. I recognize that, but that was like the genre that I read the most and obviously things that had some kind of fantasy element to it. So Percy Jackson definitely feels like the natural next thing to read. Um, even though I'm like well out of that 
era of my life, I guess. Like I don't, like when I read all those YA series, like I was much younger, but I think that's still a genre that I will enjoy, so. I don't think I could ever return to some of those books, <laughs> like Moral Instruments and Twilight. Like I cannot picture myself ever reading those again, but I loved them at the time, you know. They, they were the right thing for me at that age. <laughs> Whenever I watch TXT's concerts, it looks so magical. I'm sure it would be amazing to go to their concert. I'm very excited. My friend is gonna buy a light stick and I'm already trying to figure out what outfit to wear. I might make like another like YouTube short, real TikTok of like choosing all, like uh, um, debating on all my outfits. I did that for twice. And like, I feel like a lot of people like chiming in on which outfit they wanted to see me wear. So I do have to take into account that it's gonna be early June in New York. So it's gonna be kind of on the warm side, which does sort of like dictate the outfit options. I feel like some shows don't need live actions and then they ruin the original storyline and skip things. Oh yeah, like I don't, most things don't need a live action remake, honestly, but they will keep doing it because money. Uh, oh. How do I want to do the lighting in this? Oh, actually, I think we're going to do, we'll do the blue because of the, he's going to have that like spark thing. The, that will be, yeah. Okay. He is also extremely fair. So I wonder if I want to do, like leave some of the white of the paper. We're gonna do, we're gonna leave that area white of the paper for now. And then when I put in the blue, we'll see how I feel about it. And then go from there. Now the question is, I have two different blues. I have this like more periwinkle blue or I have this like more cyan blue. So let's, we'll, we'll swatch both of them and see. Also, I apologize for the sound of the paint marker shaking. Maybe I'll, let me like turn my audio off for a second so it's not super loud. Okay, okay. Um, do you guys think the Fire Nation is prepared for tomorrow's total solar eclipse? <laughs> You know, I feel like in Avatar, they are very well attuned to the astrology of their universe. So I think they will be. Hopefully. <laughs> Is everyone going to be catching the solar eclipse? I unfortunately do not have any solar glasses. So do you script voiceovers for your videos? It's like I'm watching one, even though you're live, you talk so eloquent. Ah, thank you. I used to script my YouTube videos very heavily. And the more I've done videos and the longer I've been on YouTube, 
the better I've gotten at not needing to script everything. Usually with YouTube videos, I have bullet points now and I'm able to go from there. Oh yeah, I definitely want this color actually, this, this lighter blue, definitely. This one's too dark for what I want, I think. Or maybe I'll use that darker blue for certain areas. Yeah. So yeah, I think because I've been on YouTube for a number of years now, and I've done a lot of voiceovers for my videos, it has really helped me in trying to be a little bit more concise and eloquent, I guess, uh, when I'm speaking, but not perfect and definitely has been a journey. I think I definitely used to struggle a lot more, but with anything, when you get more practice, it just becomes a little bit easier. And yeah, over the time, over, over the years, I've gotten more aware of trying my best not to say um or like too often, but definitely happens a lot more during my live streams because it, because it is live and I'm not being able to edit those out. And I guess that's another thing too with my YouTube videos is I'm able to edit and re re record things if I need to. Maybe the this upper lip actually needs to be, yeah. Ooh, yeah, this is looking pretty dramatic. That's fun. Hello, I made my friend slash coworker do a book club reread of Twilight last year and it was so bad, but so fun. Oh, that's great. Oh my God, I have not been keeping up with the chat. Sorry guys. I've heard this thing before and if you try sketching in pen, you're more confident in not making mistakes, but do what you want. Yeah, I do a lot. I have a whole sketchbook where I've been drawing in pen actually. I do highlighter and then I do pen, but I find with these ones, um, I prefer using pencil just because then the markers cover the sketches better. When is your frenemy competition ending? It is going to end April 16th, which is like the deadline is so that you are eligible to be entered into the giveaway for a free sketchbook, but you can definitely enter whenever you want. Um, just make sure to tag me because I've heard that the hashtag unfortunately is not, um, doesn't show everything, which is super annoying. Like why, why do they make it like that? Tina, when you paint with acrylic wash, do you use your regular watercolor paper or do you use another paper type? I actually use my re regular watercolor paper. Um, I have been flip-flopping between hot press and cold press, but yeah, I use, I don't use anything different. Definitely think watercolor paper is the best choice for gouache. You can technically get away with like a Bristol or a Mixpedia, but I really like using watercolor paper. I love when you say we'll do X, Y, Z. It's like a team effort. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's so funny. I don't know why I do that. I remembered um, uh, being on a date like a year ago or whatever it was. And this person did not understand my humor. Um, and because I don't remember exactly what it was I was saying, but I said, you know, something on the lines of like, oh, we're gonna be like this. Or it's like, um, oh, we, we live for that in this household or something. You know, like I said, we, as opposed to I, and he was like, who's we? And I was just like, and it like took me a moment to like, like, oh yeah. <laughs> like some people just don't live on the internet or have the same humor. Um, so I was just like, 
okay this is how it's gonna be um clearly didn't work out <laughs> you have to understand me you gotta get my humor okay <laughs> Also, hot tip for European people in here, the Swiss brand, uh, I'm not going to pronounce that because I do not know how to pronounce that, um, has acrylics and they behave like acrylic wash, easier to get than Holbein, I think. Oh, good tip, good tip for all the European people in the chat. Yes, my school is letting us go outside in the period to watch it. Aw, yay! That's so cool. I love that. I won't be able to see the total eclipse, uh, but I'll get a partial one. Oh yeah, true. The solar eclipse is like, it depends on where you live too, right? Um, or like what time. My hometown is smack dab in the path of totality, but of course I moved and now live in Alaska, so I won't be there for it. Oh no, that's a bummer. I'd love to see anyone from Idol-ish 7 in your style. I'm not familiar with that series. Is that an anime? I'm curious. Right now, there are so many YouTubers using the Art X acrylic markers. Have you also used them? They look so nice. I, okay, I admit, um, I do believe I had received an email from Art X about, <laughs> about their paint markers, um, but I have not responded because I'm pretty sure they just want to, like, send the the pack the they just want to like send the product and then call it a day whereas i'm at this point where i don't necessarily need them and so i would prefer to actually do like a sponsored video if i were to like you know do a video about it but i'm pretty sure that they are i mean i honestly could could just email them back and say that <laughs> but um yeah i have a feeling that they're probably just want to like send free product and then have me like they they want that to be the payment but i'm like making a youtube video and like product review is like a lot of effort so Okay, so I'm trying to decide where else I want this kind of blue highlight. Maybe a little bit on his, yeah, maybe on the glove here and on the sleeve of the jacket. This is where we're going a little bit rogue from the reference photo. Any concerts you're looking forward to? I can't wait for Stray Kids coming to NYC and TXT and New Jeans. I don't know how long you've been here, but I am going to see TXT in New York. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to be at the Sunday show. And I also am dying for Stray Kids to come to Canada. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I really want them to come. I am also like very, very, very hotly anticipating 80s to freaking drop their tour dates it's driving me insane that they were like world tour in january and then have not told us when they're coming what they're doing like what and they're doing coachella like what this weekend next weekend i'm like you're already here you're already in north america like give us the tour date it's killing me anyway so you can tell i'm a little bit just just a tiny bit passionate about that um <laughs> Bang Chan from Stray Kids recently posted an Instagram uh, post where he was wearing a Blue Jays baseball hat, which is the Toronto baseball team. And I'm, everyone's like, does this mean he's coming to Toronto? That doesn't mean Stray Kids coming to Toronto. Please. So yeah, that's my top. That's my top. Oh, also would love to see 17 again. Uh, not 100% sure if they're gonna do a tour again but like world tour soon they're doing you know their 600th lap around japan right now a little bit or just a little bit uh have you drawn any death note characters yet besides misa i love death note my friend and i were actually like going on a full rant about death note yes yesterday 
uh, way back in the day when um, I when Death Note was like a little bit more new I definitely did some L fan art I'm trying to But in terms of like recent years, yeah, Misa is the only one that I've done. But yeah, L was definitely my favorite character. We enjoy Tina's sense of humor in this household. <laughs> Thank you, Pia. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thank you, Rayan. Um, girls that get it, get it. <laughs> I always use we as a term of me. Many people have looked at me weird for that as well. Alicia. If you know, you know. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. <laughs> I, this is the type of humor that I live for. It's, it's unfortunately a product of, I think, people living on the internet, but like, those are my people. I was a Tumblr girly before Instagram, okay? <laughs> Knowing your worth is important though. Exactly. That's the thing, is the older you get, the less patience you have for people who just don't vibe with you, like if you're not on the same wave wavelength. I won't be commenting um, much this time because I'm having a quite a rough day with anxiety. Just wanted to drop by to say the stream cheered me up a bit. Aww. I'm so happy to have you here, Teapot Lizard, and definitely don't feel pressured to chime in. Happy to have you just here for the vibes and happy to provide some comfort and alleviate a little bit of your anxiety. LOL same, I want ATs. We want ATs now! Like, I want to break the wall, okay? I want to slow it down and make it bouncy. Like, let me. <laughs> Uh, are we in the bad date part of the live, <laughs> Andy? You were, you've been here. Mm -hmm. There was, there was, for those of you who are like, what's going on? Um, there was a, there was a live stream when I divulged in full detail about a bad date that I went on um, back in the day. I say back in the day, it was like three, oh God, maybe it is back in the day, like three, four, no, two, three years ago? I don't know. Um, needless to say, uh, live jazz singing was part of the date and it was unprompted <laughs> yes 17 17 right here i need it now yesterday i've been really resisting the k-pop brain rot lol but i don't know how much longer i can hold on tina <laughs> alston you're more you're stronger than me you are stronger than me i think part of it is because i'm single so i have extra time and space in my brain and in my heart for k-pop <laughs> okay but mellow from death note in your style would slay <gasps> we love death we love mellow from death note love mellow he was serving kanti like from day one the leather the bob the bangs i'm convinced maybe i should draw mellow <laughs> okay sorry i'm like so enthralled with this chat room you guys are too much fun but we we are here to draw okay let's do his oh yes okay now i know what i was gonna do so i did the outline with the color pencil first that way because we want the inside of the spark to be white and that way i know where to go or what to avoid as opposed to using like a white paint marker later yeah you know what this is also reminding me of this is remind reminding me of kakashi's chidori is that what it's called the chidori the like lightning <laughs> Uh, we German use Wir bin wir, which means 
we love. Ah, we do love. <laughs> the jazz man. <laughs> Guys. Okay, just like the, the Sparks Notes version, I went on a date where the guy started he pulled out like again unprompted he had pulled out sheet music laid it in front of me and started singing jazz music a cappella unprompted and it was so awkward and weird <laughs> we are a vibe yes yes we gotta keep resisting together <laughs> stay strong Stay strong, my friends. <laughs> the, the longer you stay in the I'm a wonderland, though, the more difficult it will become. Because when I'm hyper fixated on things, I just impose these interests on people. <laughs> the idea of this man being immortalized in multiple streams more than he deserves. <laughs> You know what though? Genuinely, when I left that date, I was like, this is gonna make a funny story. And when I, like, I kind of knew early on in the date, I was like, at least this will potentially, like, I literally was like, I'm doing it for the plot. <laughs> like, purely. <laughs> I would run away screaming if someone did that to me. <laughs> Your streams bring such serotonin. Decided to sketch along drawing sharks. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. I uh, love that you're drawing sharks. What kind of sharks are you drawing? What has she created so far? I am so sad to say that we have only been working on Roy Mustang and it's been an hour and a half. Um, this is a page from last time a while back so that's fun but I am very slow um, and yeah but we're having fun so that's important okay let's actually what's important is I'm gonna do the yellow, like the gold parts first. And then we'll do like the darker, kind of working slight, like kind of working light to dark ish. So let's do, this is like actually a chain, but I'm just gonna do it as like a singular kind of rope and then we'll, we can add in the details afterwards. I'm glad I never dated someone before. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Dating horror stories are hilarious, but also a cautionary tale. <laughs> How is he not embarrassed? I have a coworker who routinely breaks into song. Honestly, breaking into song, like musical style and for funsies, just as like you know being like a silly little goofy time like I'm that person for sure like if someone is like if someone says something that reminds me of a song I will start singing just a little for fun and I obviously read the room like if it's like with like close friends then yeah I'll do it um but uh yeah this was this was a whole nother thing <laughs> and why was he not embarrassed I think he was extremely confident had very little self-awareness and uh yeah didn't know how to read the room <laughs> okay i think that's pretty much it for the gold yeah and then a lot of his uniform has like these like silver or gray or white trim 
Let me see. I guess it's, I guess you could consider it white or silver? Yeah. Um, and I think it'll be more interesting to actually color it something. I have this really kind of muted purpley mauvey color, so I think that could be good. Let me just swatch it first, just to be sure. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, and then actually, we can go ahead and use that for the kind of shadow parts of the eyes here. Yeah, I guess I can leave some of the white empty to create like highlighted areas. I'm making this candle wax girl. Ooh, that's fun. We're too distracting. <laughs> it's so much fun though. That's like, this is like why I love Love Stream so much because it's just fun. It just makes everything so much more entertaining. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything. No worries, no worries. <laughs> Tina, tell us about this Montreal designer you shopped at. Never heard of them, that Peplin though. <gasps> yes, oh my God, okay. Um, so Erin is talking about, so on my Instagram live stream, uh, or no, Instagram stories, um, I went to this sample sale for this Montreal based designer, Eliza Faulkner. And they, I stumbled upon them at a pop-up that they did in Toronto, maybe like a year ago. And yeah, their um, designs is super fun, really unique, like very quirky. And um, just like, yeah, like just feels super unique to me. And it's made in Canada, like made in Montreal and the quality is amazing like the fabrics and the cuts and stuff are just so nice which of course does mean uh that they the price points are kind of high and so for me like i've been following them on instagram and keeping an eye on their sales and stuff for a while and so when i saw that they were coming back for another sample sale i was like i gotta go like i gotta go because then you can actually like see it in person feel it try them on um as opposed to buying it online because again like when it's like a higher price point like that you really want to make sure it fits and so yeah i got myself a very cute red plaid shirt i guess it's like it's multiple plaids um and it's like kind of like a bustier type style there's like little string ties for the straps which i love and then it has this little like kind of ruffled peplum around the waist area which is not something that i typically would think would be my thing like you know i know a lot of us kind of associate the peplum with like that kind of outdated early 2000s um weird kind of office worker style um but it's a very unique piece and i think the peplum on that like really works so yeah that was a fun little thing to pop by and i brought my friend along with me who had like never heard of the brand before and she was just there to be like supportive but then she actually ended up leaving with a dress as well which was super fun she was saying that she has like a bunch of weddings to go to and so it ended up being perfect the the dress that she found so whale zebra and big eye shark so far oh so fun uh, to have the confidence of random Canada jazz man. I know, right? Like, I need to live in that level of delusion. Like, for reals. <laughs> I sing to my cat at home, but I would not break out my routine on a date. I mean, exactly. Exactly. It, time and place. Time and place. <laughs> 
The office worker fashion is coming back and it scares me so much. If I wore that style, I'd look like a child in their rich mommy's clothing. <laughs> Living his best Delulu life. You know, sometimes in that case, Delulu is not the Salulu. <laughs> but maybe in some crazy universe, somewhere maybe there is someone out there for him maybe there is maybe there's someone who will be like i will also skit scat and jazz sing with you maybe you know what at least he was he was uh being his authentic self and saved me the trouble of going on a second date with him <laughs> But was your date partner good looking? Mm, they were not my type and they definitely looked a lot different from their photos in their dating profile. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Delulu is not the Salulu. There's someone out there that'll respond to the jazz guy with their full jazz OC. Exactly! There's someone out there for everyone, you know? Not for me, but someone, someone else out there. You know who I am Delulu for? Stray Kids members. Yes. When I saw Bang Chan post that photo with the Blue Jays baseball cap, I was like, Sir, that's clearly signaling to me that you're gonna come to Toronto, for me, specifically. I might not be a baseball fan, but I do in fact live in Toronto. <laughs> I am 100% Delulu for K-pop idols and K-pop idols only. I'm thinking of drawing you, but I don't wanna be so focused to ruin it. I'll also have you thought about drawing the Shadow Man in Princess of the Frog. Aw, that's so sweet of you, thank you. You definitely don't have to draw me, but I'm very flattered that you even considered it. But also don't feel pressured, like, Fan art is fan art is just so cool and magical. So like I would be honored. Uh, but also Princess and the Frog, I haven't seen that movie in quite a while. So I actually have not really um, thought about fan art for it. But I actually have the Princess and the Frog art book. Um, so maybe I should take a yander through there um, soon. He dove into the date jazz OC first. <laughs> Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I have Willy Wonka gummy hats with jelly that turn your tongue blue. That's fun. Did you guys like the Timothy Chalamet Willy Wonka? I haven't seen it. Um, but I do find everything about that sentence so fascinating. <laughs> Like, did not expect that it was going to be a musical. Would not have ever considered Timothy, Timothy Chalamet to play Willy Wonka. Like, just wild. Having friends over and I'm out of eggs for cornbread and dessert, so let's go on an adventure to the grocery store next door, trying raspberry lemon cookies. Oh my god, Andy, that's so nice of you to bake for your friends. Raspberry lemon cookie sounds so good. And happy to come along for your grocery store run. <laughs> um, 
hashtag delulu for changbin. i want to be his homie so bad. he seems so fun to be around but also my eardrums would be gone. that man is loud he would be screaming um him and ooyoung from eighty s like problem children. oh my gosh um i love changbin like he is girly popping all over tiktok with like the girl group dances and i live um <laughs> changbin is so girly pop like <laughs> obsessed <laughs> he would be really fun he would be a really fun friend 100 percent my mom keeps calling l from death note fat neck and she won't let it go no i love him <laughs> i have a disease called remake aversion it's critical i'm afraid honestly i don't blame you bia I'm not here for all these remakes. Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> That's, yeah, I have no interest in watching the Mean Girls musical movie. I probably will not be watching the Willy Wonka, new Willy Wonka. Like, I have no issue with people enjoying them, but it's just not, it's, yeah, this is not really my, my thing either. The Lulu for Felix and Hyunjin. Correct. Nothing more satisfying than drawing a small shape and coloring it in with Posca. It's so satisfying, right? Like, I really missed using them. And a hot tip for those of you who haven't seen my paint marker processes before is how I'm able to get the smoothest application is I actually prep the paper in advance and what I do is I actually cover the paper with gesso first and then I sand it and basically what that does is it creates like a really smooth surface and like a barrier so that you're not like lifting the paper fibers and ruining your paint marker nibs and that uh yeah that's a lifesaver it is kind of annoying i will admit to have to do that um because that means like you can't just jump in to working on the thing right away but it makes working on the paper so much nicer. Me and Tina are Delulu for L. He's our fave. Yes, we love L. I do think though, he's got to have some serious back problems. Like he, <laughs> he's always like, he's got the worst posture. <laughs> okay, to sum up who I am obsessed with, Toji. And if we talk about 3D men, Choi San, I love my, I, I hope you get my type here. Yes, I'm seeing the vision. Toji and San, it all makes sense. I see it, I see you. <laughs> Dorito shaped men, <laughs> that's the type. <laughs> that gesso hack was brilliant. I started doing the same and it helped so much. Yay, I'm glad Megan. It's like, yeah, it's a total game changer. Oh, hydration reminder, friends. I feel like I have not been drinking a lot of water. And after talk, talk, talking about Toji and San, we, we need to quench the thirst.
Wonka was adorable and had some great laughs. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Honestly, like, I think that while I was surprised to see Timmy Faye Chalamet take on a role like that, I think that it's totally valid for him to want to do like a fun role because so much of his career so far has been like much more serious um, characters. So I think that's very valid for him. I love the background music, really charming. Oh, thank you. It's um, it's like this playlist on Spotify called Stream Beats Lo-Fi. Um, it's by this guy, Harris Heller, who um, creates this like, yeah, free music for streams because a lot of the times music gets flagged for copyright, which is definitely not fun to deal with, especially for a live stream when we're here for like hours. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to him for creating free music for streamers to use. I have it, uh, I, I should have it linked in the description. It looks kind of cool, like just outlined, right? It reminds me of um, like anime, animation cells. Ooh, this marker is super juicy. Very satisfying. question but did you guys get an earthquake on friday nyc and jersey got hit with a 8.4.81 uh, and it's not rare here <gasps> whoa really i do not believe we did that's crazy don't get me wrong the girl who plays katie is an amazing actress and i really enjoy her but why is she the lead in a movie musical which she can't exactly sing who knows <gasps> yeah alicia i so I recently, actually before coming on the stream while I was having like my lunch slash breakfast, I watched your internet mom Ash do like a reaction video to the Mean Girls musical and the clips that I saw of the actress who played Katie, I was like, oh, she is not a Broadway musical singer, especially when you compare her to the actress who played Janice and Renee Rapp, I was just like, mm. <laughs> like the uh, the singing chops are definitely different. <laughs> oh my god, I loved Knives Out slash Gl Glass Onion. Oh yeah, me too. Those are fun movies. I think Knives Out is my favorite of the two, but I really enjoyed both of them. Um, yeah, Knives Out slash Glass Onion is an example of a serious actor going ham in full silly mode and it's beautiful, right? Yeah, I think it's very fun to see actors like, you know, get to fully explore different characters because I'm sure that's the reason why they want to be an actor in the first place. I think I need to go and take a shower tomorrow school. Aw, totally valid. I hope that um, you have a good day at school tomorrow. 
wasn't paying attention and gave my OC a red finger. Guess who's getting red gloves now? See, that's very like Bob Ross approach, you know, like what's it? No mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> It's so weird when a goofy actor takes on a serious role. It's hard for me to take them seriously in them unless it's done super well. I do agree with that as well. It is true that sometimes um, if an a actor has been really typecast for a long time, um, sometimes it can be hard to, like it can be a little bit distracting um, to see them in a different light. I know some people felt that way about Matthew McConaughey. I haven't actually seen Interstellar, but I have seen him in like rom-coms and you know, like his kind of more goofy roles. So I definitely understand that sentiment for sure. I feel like I would probably feel that way about Ryan Reynolds as well. Like Ryan Reynolds really, like his personality and his a lot of the roles that he takes on, especially Deadpool, are so blurred. Like the line is so blurred, so I can't imagine him in like a super, super serious role either. If they're like Jim Carrey or something. Oh, I still haven't, I'm, I feel bad. I'm like, I feel like it's a cinephile sin to have not seen uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, but I really should watch that. I mean, it's so nice to see actors play different roles slash characters, right? Interstellar makes me sob every time. Yeah, I've heard it like really hits people. Like it's definitely something that uh, people really love. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, yay, finally uploaded Yuzu from Momo Front of Me. Yay, oh my god, thanks for joining. I haven't gotten the chance to look through the new the entries in a little bit, but I'll definitely do that maybe later today um, or maybe tomorrow morning. But yes, just a reminder, friends, to use the hashtag and to tag me just because it looks like the hashtag is not necessarily super reliable. We're making way, finally. I should try and be a little faster so we can at least get to another character soon. <laughs> Have you watched the new Kong movie? It looked so nice and I mean it did cost 80 million so I would hope that it would look good. I haven't yet. You know what? I actually don't think I've actually ever seen any King Kong movie. Which kind of surprises me actually. Which is your favorite? What's the favorite installment for the King Kong movies? <laughs> Looking so good. I always love your color choices. Thank you, Mila. Uh, don't go too fast. You got this slow and steady wins the race. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Guys, I bought a cart for when I want to buy more than a few things I can carry home and I'm so happy I bought it, but people look at me weird because they think I drive her maybe. Honestly, I am here for making your life easier. I'm here for anything that will make you more efficient in your everyday life. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fill this in because while it looks very cool to have the outline, it makes more sense to fill it in. <gasps> is, it, is it a paint marker live stream without the marker? leaking but honestly that was like the perfect place for that to happen <laughs> that was very lucky i always say this like not to push the marker down like on your actual drawing because of the potential leaking but i never follow my advice <laughs> i always think about that alice in wonderland quote I give very good advice, but I ever 
but I seldom follow it or whatever. You know what the quote is. <laughs> Maybe we want some this here. Maybe just a little. And then the thing is, I need this blue to be on the sleeve here on the cuff, but it's kind of hard to go around these little yellow parts. Let's just try our best here. I may just, you know what, I might have to go over it again with the yellow and try later. Because we got to make sure he gets his little stars, because that signifies his rank. Because my cart is two-tiered and looks like a stroller and it looks like I should have a kid with me and <laughs> no don't worry about it <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it I would probably say the new empire I talk about happy accident Bob Ross totally that's so true <laughs> paid actor I've only seen the King Kong with Naomi Watts so that one I got really sick and couldn't leave my bed I watched that movie four times in a row dang okay that means you must have really liked that movie you could outline the rest of the blocks of color with a pen brush and leave it in a haunting drawing oh yeah well it's already filled in now but that's a good suggestion when you said this marker is very juicy, I was like, uh oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> the marker said, thanks, watch this. Watch this. These are my confessions. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Tina, I have a private Insta account. Can I DM you, my friend of me? Also, yes, I'm back for the length of a whole ad break. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Um, Unfortunately, I'm trying to think because it is kind of hard for me to keep track of um, all the entries if it's not just like in the, the hashtag or a tagged thing. But um, yeah, send me, a, send me a DM for it. I think that might work. Also, let me trying to make sure I can differentiate. Although I guess I'll do liner for this after. Okay, let's do... Wait, next, let's do... Yeah, that is something that will definitely help this out later is um, when I add in some liner. But let's do... Next is the hair. And... Okay, so his hair, we need the hair to be darker than the jacket, but I'm not sure if I want it to be black necessarily. I think it'll be cool to do another dark blue. You know the song Left and Right from Seventeen? It's been stuck in my head for a whole week. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Seventeen, ha! <laughs> my friend and I listened to that song. I think we watched like two or different, two or three different versions of it yesterday. The 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 proceedings when I have my like wine evenings with my friend is we catch up, drink some drink some wine or seltzers or whatever and then we grab takeout for dinner and then we watch anime and then when we're at peak drunk we start watching k-pop music videos and like fan cams <laughs> and we definitely watch left and right because it's such a fun song and bless her heart she's like she has like a terrible memory and she mostly consumes K-pop when she's with me. So she's like not quite 
as far down the rabbit hole as I am. So I'm always so proud of her when she remembers certain um, idols, like, and she like can pick them out, especially with Seventeen, because there's so many members. And I remember, or she she jokes that like she only knows Mingyu specifically as my man Mingyu because I say that so often. <laughs> And I was like, we were watching like a music video or something with him in it. And I was like, oh, there's my man Mingyu. And she was like, I didn't recognize him without his arms out. Because <laughs> he's just like always wearing like sleeveless shirts now. But like, um, and you know, he's got big guns. So I thought that was super funny though. She's like, I didn't even recognize him because he has his arms covered. I don't love this color and I also don't love how this marker is behaving but let's um this is a hot tip if it like leaked um I use it almost like a paintbrush and kind of dab But I think what I'll do is I'm gonna cover the entire hair area and then I will go in with other colors as well. You made a little side palette, exactly. Sorry, I'm back. I had a chicken, I'm with my ducks. Aw, cute. I have been in a state of squee over this and I'm just so excited. Thanks, Bia. Hello, hello. Oh my god, is that Roy from FMA? It is! It is! <laughs> Wait, the last time Tina used paint markers, the pigeons were really bothersome. Maybe the shaking of the markers calls them Tina the pigeons. <laughs> I love, I love this Tina lore that's being built. Um, you are correct. I have had a continued issue with pigeons. I really do hope that the pigeons are not being called by my print markers. Currently, currently I think we're good. Um, yeah, I am like, I have like PTSD from hearing pigeon noises or just birds in general um, of them trying to live on my balcony. <laughs> the pigeon whisperer. Oh, this is not the, this is not the, the superpower that I wanted. Drawing a dragon lady right now. Ooh, that's fun. I know you're going to draw a lot of anime characters in stream. I do tend to do that. I do apologize for my for my non-anime fans. <laughs> Technically, oh yeah, last time it was mostly anime characters, wasn't it? Um, we did we did do Jane Lane and we did do Kirby. <laughs> I do think that real people is a little bit harder in this um, paint marker style, but I definitely think that it's possible. Dang, this marker is being annoying. Sweats and bird icon. <laughs> yeah, but yours is like a puffin. That's acceptable. Puffins are cute. I guess I should uh, differentiate by like city birds, like pigeons. I'll steal your power. I love pigeons. <laughs> yes, please have it. Um, I'll be drawing on IBS Studio Paint while listening to stream in 17. Oh, yes. What's your favorite 17 song? I know that's a very hard question. You can name a few. I think my favorite 17 songs is Rock With You, To You, Kidult, Hmm. And let me think. I don't understand, but I love you. So good. Delicious. Whoa, this marker man. Girl, can you can you calm down? <laughs> Thank you. 
in some in some of my streams i use an actual paintbrush when this happens but i will i'll just use the marker There is so much of this paint. Okay, let's, shall we attempt to do the pupils of the eyes? Or the irises, I should say. Not just the pupils, the irises. Okay, be very, very careful. I'll fix it with um, more markers afterwards. And should we throw it in? Oops. Oh my gosh, this marker is being kind of annoying. Rock with you for sure. I love all birds, but your opinion is valid. <laughs> um, yes, rock with you. Rock with you was what got me like really hooked on Seventeen. The live rock version of Rock with You. <laughs> it's because you keep putting her on Roy. <laughs> she acting up. <laughs> Hot, super fear. Don't want to cry. Rock with you. Very nice. God of music. <gasps> Don't want to cry. So good. And of course, left and right. Ugh. All bangers. Oh my god, I love the vibes of playing K-pop and playing games like beer pong. We use water because we are old and rather drink a sip out of whatever we're drinking. That was my first introduction to K-pop. That sounds so fun. I love that. So nice to capture stream since I'm having lunch right now. Hi! Made Cupid, thanks for coming. Mr. Taxi is always stuck in my brain every time. Oh, that's so fun. Misbehaving marker. Hi, welcome, welcome. Okay, as much as I hate like letting excess paint go to waste, I think we're gonna, maybe we'll just throw it in, in a couple of more spots here and then just leave it because misbehaving. I say that and I like start putting it in more areas <laughs> but I'm realizing that there's a couple more spots that I want to have shadows so okay I think that should do it okay and then I think I don't like I think I've decided I don't like um, the white being left on the skin so let's just fill the rest of that in or maybe like just a tiny bit maybe yeah I love when you sing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I do apologize for everyone who's like, "Girl, can you please stop?" Um, but this is this is what happens when I'm uh, comfortable and having a good time. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I haven't seen your streams in so long. Love your style. Oh, welcome Dylan. Happy to have you. My first intro to K-pop was Chinese Japanese version of Lucifer on SoundCloud as I was walking to school. I remember that exact moment. Oh my god, Leela. Mila, that's like such I can I, I can tell it's such a core memory for you. I love how specific it is. <laughs> Lucifer will always be that girl. Like, that song is so iconic. Imagine being so pale that the person drawing you says that they can't leave the paper showing. It's me, I'm that pale. <laughs> you know, Roy Mustang is pale, but I will say the beauty or the fun thing about paint markers is like, I do enjoy like exaggerating the colors. And I find this particular peach color just so fun. It's actually, what is it called? Pea orange. Um, I guess it's this, this is all in Japanese, but yeah, we love, we love. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I did forget to do his lighter. So let's actually go ahead and use the excess paint marker here or paint from the marker. Right, right. Okay. Yes, and then going back in with this blue marker again just to fill in some spots again and because it was not super opaque His eyes look menacing. Yes, that's definitely the point. This point in the series, he is out for blood. It's like peak angry, like literally um, his like bestie just got super injured and he's out for revenge for his other fallen friend. So it is a very intense moment in the series. Did you say that the color was called pea orange or did I mishear that? That's literally, hold on, let me pull up the label. Like P, the letter P, <laughs> orange. Hold on. Come on. It doesn't want to ruin. It doesn't want to focus, but it does say that here. Like the letter P, orange. My guess is maybe it's trying to reference peach, potentially, like peach orange. That would make sense. I know, it definitely sounds like that. Who are you drawing? I am drawing Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the anime. Um, yeah, very intense moment that I've picked for uh, the reference photo, but it's just like very epic looking. Um, okay, so I think we're pretty much ready to go for some line art. I think what I actually am gonna do is run to the bathroom and we will get into it. So this is a perfect little intermission for you guys to stretch, walk around, grab some snacks, do a little errand that, you know, real quick. Um, so I'll be right back.
I remembered to switch the mics back <laughs> or the sound. I always would come back and like no audio would be happening. I love your little vampire girl. She's such a cutie. Thanks, Megan. Um, chat, what's your favorite K-pop group? Oh my God. Okay, I honestly, I think ATs might be my alt group. I think ATs and 17 is my alt group, groups. And then the second tier is like BTS, Stray Kids, TXT. I think what I want to do, I have this purple, this really dark purple, and from what I recall, it's quite dark. So I think that will be nice to add. Let's double check. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Cause I think it'll be nice to leave out black until we start doing line art. We music over. <laughs> yes. Stray kids. Stray kids all around the world. Between Stray Kids and Seventeen. Yes, love Stray Kids. To quote an earlier line, unfortunately K-pop is my nerdy blind spot. <laughs> that is totally valid. <laughs> okay, line art time. Line art time. Okay. I'm a little curious to introduce colored pencils potentially into this because I've never really considered using paint markers and colored pencils together and I think it'd be kind of cool but doing line art with this is, with colored pencils is a little risky so let's do just a teeny little test um, what I'm gonna do is where is da, 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 da. okay because there is on um, his glove there is a transmutation circle aka a kind of magic pattern <laughs> for those of you who are not initiated in full metal alchemist so i think that's where i'm going to start um i'm not going to do it in full detail just because it's like very tiny and not important to get like it exactly correct but just just suggested enough so we understand I think there's like a triangle going this way and then a triangle going this way another triangle here something on the top that's being covered and then some kind of thing down here good enough good enough um, actually, I think this will also be perfect for his scratch on his face. And we're also just gonna give him some more scratches. The lines I just did around his eyes, it reminds me of the the 
the like blood vessels or whatever is going on with um, in Attack on Titan. <laughs> I thought I saw, I mean, I did see a pigeon, but it didn't land in my balcony. I think it landed in the balcony beneath me. <laughs> Silly question, but would the Posca paint marker be too thick slash get disturbed by the pencil? Um, I don't think so. Um, I think it should be fine. Um, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know about, uh, I don't know much about K-pop, but Stray Kids and ATs are my vibe. We love to see it! Love to see it! Wait, now I can't unsee that. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, right? Whoops. Whoopsie. It's fine. It's uh, a fun little fun little inside joke. A fun little nod. Okay. So, you know what? That actually kind of worked. So let's, um, let's try... Let's bust out the black color pencil and see. And then if I don't find I like it as much, I can always just use a paint marker or not paint marker, a, a fine liner on top, but I am digging it. So let's actually, I'm gonna do blue first in some of these areas. It's the pigeon prophecy, oh no. <laughs> this is not the manifestation I wanted. <laughs> veins oh yeah i know it's kind of a weird thing to explain attack on titan has its whole lore it's um yeah i don't know how to explain it but uh <laughs> it's um it's a very specific reference i'd rather have pigeons for me if i leave my windows open squirrels will come in and live with me rent free if the squirrels pay rent in acorns they can stay oh my gosh i can imagine that coming like dealing with squirrels in your home is a lot but I think squirrels are so cute. <laughs> I think I'd rather squirrels than pigeons. We should trade. <laughs> Hi, Tina. I hope you're doing well. Unfortunately, I won't be staying because it's 5 a.m. and I only had like three hours of sleep, but I just wanted to pop in and see how you're doing. Hi, Brooklyn. I'm so sorry that it's so late for you and that you're running on such little sleep, but thanks so much for popping in. I'm doing really good. Um, I hope that you get your well-deserved amount of sleep and uh, I appreciate you popping in to say hi. <sighs> Ooh, I like it. I like using the colored pencils for line art, I think. You get more precision and we get to um, add a little bit of texture and I have way more colors with colored pencils than I do with the paint markers and even fine liners. So this could be a potential game changer. Hmm. It is a little bit, it does feel a little bit kind of strange using the colored pencils on the paint markers just cause it's so smooth, but like it's definitely like eating up the pencil quite a lot, but it's, Pretty fun. I'm digging it. Yeah, the marker's called the pigeon. It's starting. <laughs> it looks so good. I love the look of your mixed media art. Thanks so much. Um, I was terrified one day because a huge seagull tried to get in and I know for a fact Mr. Seagull wouldn't pay rent. Oh my god, okay, I would be worried about a seagull. That's like a large animal. <laughs> I would be worried about a seagull for sure. Oh my gosh. I guess, um, yeah, I'm very thankful that my windows have screens. Um, so that prevents any animals from being able to get in if I were to uh, have my windows open.
you know what i've been realizing recently this ultramarine color pencil is one of the mvps i use it so often it's so pigmented the color is gorgeous and it's a great color for line art i love it All the animals flock to me if I want it or not. Are you a Disney princess? I love that. <laughs> Although I guess that's call it causing you trouble, but it's pretty funny. Have you used a multicolor pencil? Some art that uses it so pretty. I finally got one to try. I'm so excited. Oh yes, I've seen I've seen artists using those before. I actually don't have one, but maybe the next time I come across one, I should pick it up because that definitely sounds like it could be a fun experiment. Oh my god, it's already 3.30. Okay, we definitely have to get to at least more than one character today. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. I did not expect this to take so long. But we're actually, we're almost done. So... Crayola have tricolor ones, they work great for me. Okay, good to know. I love using the multicolor pencil, it's so fun. Mila Snow White, <laughs> it's so true. It's crazy how quickly you're able to line your work, take such skill. Aw, oh, thank you. I'll be Snow White if the animals give me alone time at some point. Too many squirrels. <laughs> the squirrels are loving you. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, if I get too far into the uh, the shading with the color pencil, we'll be here all day. So I will refrain from doing too much shading with the color pencil, but it's so tempting. Okay, I think for the eyes, we're gonna go with black. I don't know if you've watched Noragami, but I suggest you draw Yato, his zen is pretty simple. I have not watched Noragami, unfortunately. Um, I feel like you need to draw a pigeon now, maybe. F woman, fam woman familiar or something? <laughs> no, I refuse. I refuse to draw a pigeon. Um, that's uh, There's a lovely family of deer that I see outside, though. They're so pretty. <gasps> that's amazing. Oh, that's so cute. Deer are so beautiful and magical. Moment of truth, guys. The eyes. And eyebrows. We'll finally, like... <laughs> get to... The character really comes to life when you do the eyes. And the eyebrows. Okay. Gotta make sure... We get the intensity. We'll go thin first and then we'll make it thicker as we go. Just 
the tiniest hint of bottom lashes because I always do that. Wow! I like putting blue around the irises lately. I don't know why, it just looks cool. Let's do that. Cool. It looks like eyeliner, so true. The K-pop influence. Ooh, I like how it turned out. Honestly, there's so many times when I preferred how the face looked in the sketch than I did after it's done, but I actually think the face turned out better. Maybe because, yeah, using colored pencils, I have way more control, which is great. I gave a, per a bird a piece of my waffle once and a bird and the bird dead ass led me to a 10 cent coin on a top of a bin. <laughs> Oof, the eyebrows really do a lot. He looking fine. <laughs> Thank you. Giving straight up 90s anime vibes. Love it. So true. Yes. I mean, the influence is definitely coming through. I got my friend into crochet and she's now obsessed with making birds like chickens. And now she's obsessed with a crochet seagull with a french fry. Oh my God. Okay. That sounds adorable. I love like crochet character kind of things it's so adorable sailor cosmos next love magical girls we do love magical girls it's the pigeon prophecy you must <laughs> i refuse i'm choosing my own destiny <laughs> the drawing is coming together really good i'm going to sleep i wish you all a good day slash night thanks for joining have a good sleep i cannot be any more grateful bless you tina yes roy mustang we did it Yes, Slay, the drawing looks great. No, amazing. Thank you, thank you, friends. Oh, I actually, I'm like, hello? We did it. I'm actually so proud. Time, you know, it's worth it to, to take the time to, to flesh it out. Okay, so let's zoom out. Friends, I now am taking the next request. Um, I think it would be fun to stay in a blue theme there's a there's a couple of things actually that i'm like oh i forgot but don't worry about it we won't worry about it um because this side was very red heavy so i do think it'd be fun to stay blue themed potentially i mean potentially even a little bit of green or turquoise potentially could be a good option too I'm like, you guys had so many suggestions earlier, but I've forgotten all of them. Actually, I do remember oh, Hitsugaya from Bleach, which is, mm, that is actually put potentially a good one. But we did just a, we just did a male character. So maybe, maybe a female character. Um, the uh, best thing I can make is a needle felt sheep. I made one that sits on my shelf and when I'm sad, I just stare at that little sheep and my worries disappear. That's so sweet. I also feel that way about my little knickknacks that like all my little trinkets that bring me serotonin. It's very important. Like look at my little Gojo that I got in a Japanese gotcha. He's supposed to like hang on like a cord. Hold on, let me show you. I'm so sad I didn't get more because honestly, imagine having like a whole row of them. Isn't that so cute? Hello? <laughs> I want more. I should have. I should have. A little Megumi, a little Itadori, and Nobara. I should just got all of them. That's how I get you. <laughs>
oh do you watch free run they often have the characters in a blue backlight okay don't hate me i watched the first episode of free run and then didn't continue i should watch the rest but i okay i know people love it but i'm having a hard time because like all of her friends are have aged out and like the cute guy died <laughs> so i'm just like what why do i why am i gonna watch it for <laughs> but feel free to um convince me otherwise blue pigeon you guys this pigeon agenda <laughs> goddess of pigeons Oh my gosh, pigeon on a telephone wire. Actually, you know what's so funny? They literally had that. Um, my friend bought it when we were there. There was like, because in Japan, they have all those little gachas, um, like a gumball machine. And my friend did, because the, there's a whole bunch of them where they like sit on um, cords. And my friend did do one with birds. <laughs> I don't remember if she got the pigeon, but there was definitely a pigeon in there. Maybe silver hair Sophie in her blue dress from Howl's Moving Castle. <gasps> Ooh, true. Squirtle. Oh my god. Actually, Squirtle would be really cute somewhere too. I think Squirtle will be good as like a filler, like the like the Kirby here. So we'll we'll put a pause on Squirtle, but I love that idea. My favorite is when we introduced Squirtle in the in the early Pokemon series and he's got the sunglasses and he was like in a gang. I was obsessed. <laughs> Um, Sailor Neptune. Ooh, okay. Princess Yue. The cute guy died. Tina turns off the show. <laughs> I'd like fully expose myself right there. <laughs> Once you ask for suggestions, I suddenly forget every character, right? It's like when people are like, tell me about yourself. And I'm like, who am I? Um, okay, 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 okay. These are good. Okay, I like... Um, yeah, Sophie from How's Movie Castle, Sailor Neptune, Princess Yue. Those are all really, really great choices. Um, I think sh chat, should we narrow it down from those three? Um, no, yeah, the first episode of Free Rain kind of throws you, but it's definitely cute and wholesome if you decide to give it another try. She makes other friends and there's parallels between them. Ah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, maybe I need to, I just need to like watch it a little bit more. I did the same with the Dungeons and Dragons one. What's, um, what is it called? It's like the food one on Netflix. Uh, I watched one episode and I was like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> my attention span is so short. <laughs> yes, a tiny filler Squirtle would make me so happy. Yes, we're definitely, we're definitely going to do Squirtle somewhere. Like he'll probably like get squeezed right here or something. Cause I feel like if I draw the character here, yep. Yeah. I've been spoiled with Mustang, but I vote Sophie. Princess UA, okay, yes, yes, yes. Sophie, okay. Dungeon Meshi, okay, yes, that's the show. I haven't, I know people really love that one. Draw Cinderella. Sophie, okay, okay, we're seeing some Sophies. Wait, can I do a poll? I can do a poll! Sorry for everyone who gave in a Sophie who are the other options Sailor Neptune Princess UA okay your keyboard ASMR oh my god I love my keyboard it's a mechanical keyboard and it's like pink and purple it's adorable um <laughs> Squirtle is also Chang'an's fave Pokemon, so there's a sneaky 17 connection. I'm sold. I love that. <laughs> Cinderella. Sorry, we're not going to do Cinderella, um, but I will keep her in mind in the future. Okay, Sophie... Sophie's winning so far. I'm going to give it, we'll give it a little bit of extra time. Maybe I will, oh, did the my music stop? Hey, hello, hello. Mm. 
Sophie already won with Howl. She is, she is winning. She, for those of you who haven't read the book, she actually has powers. Like she's, she's actually got powers. And she gets to have Howl. And beautiful silver hair. Looking at your kudo makes me want to draw high Q characters. Oh no, not this brain rot again. The high Q brain rot. Doesn't it just comes in waves, right? You're like high Q, and then like you know the the anime is done, and then now that the movie has been announced, it's coming back. Come back. We love. Okay. Uh, 22 votes. Sophie is at 59%. So, I think. I think that's the clear winner. I'm ending the poll. Thanks for voting, guys. Also, love that we can do polls. That's amazing. Um, okay, let's find a Sophie. Sophie reference. Sophie Howell's Moving Castle. Whenever the weather starts to get better, my haiku tingle comes in full swing. Oh my god, I love that. You know, that's true. Haiku does give like spring summer vibes. Okay, let's draw Sophie. I'm definitely gonna draw Sophie with her bob because she serves um, in this bob. And it feels like she's like reached her true form. the final evolution, if you will. <laughs> but I do love her little, when she has her hair in a braid, she has a little pink bow, which is adorable. So you know what, we're gonna give her a little coquette moment and I think I'm gonna put a little pink bow in her hair. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? We'll do um we'll do like a little braid in the bob with a little bow. So then we get to have both. <laughs> Done. Okay. Sophie is the reason that I want silver hair one day, oh, right? I've always wanted silver hair, or not always, but I've been wanting silver hair for a long time. And every time I would go to the salon and we try to go silver, it just never quite happens. Whoops, zoomed in way too much there. Um, because as you can see, I have very, very dark hair naturally. And so it requires a lot of processing to get it light enough to be able to achieve silver. And silver is notoriously very difficult to achieve and maintain, especially on dark hair. So sadly, I think I have to accept that silver hair is just not in the cards for me. Also, Sophie being next to this like very very intense Roy Mustang is so funny because she's gonna be like serving soft coquette girly next to a <laughs> very very intense Roy Mustang but you know it's it's fine I think because with this Sophie portrait, I'm going to keep it more simple, um, which means it'll be faster. Hopefully I say that, but who knows? Because with the Roy Mustang, it was like, there was a lot going on and it was like the first of the day. So it took me a while to like get into the groove of things. But I think now that we've done one, it'll be a lot faster to do another. And girls are a little bit more intuitive for me to draw, I think, as well, so.
Oh, that sounds so cute, honestly. Thanks so much. I should watch Haikyuu too, but it's one of those shows I stubbornly haven't watched because my ex loved it. <gasps> Don't let them ruin it for you. Reclaim it. Reclaim it from them. <laughs> There's a lot of blue on the red theme page, so it would be cool if there was some red on the blue side too. That's true. That is true. You have a good point. That's, we will have to reevaluate when we pick the next character. The process to lighten hair, to lighten dark hair is such a struggle. I know, right? I'm so envious of people who have uh, lighter hair naturally because it's just so much easier. <laughs> I will try and watch it. I do love a good sports anime. <gasps> okay, if you love sports anime, you will love Haikyuu for sure. It's like... <laughs> Um, have you watched Skate the Infinity? I feel like it's definitely in that genre as well. Silver is just so high maintenance that I'm going to wait for when I go gray, right? I think I'm going to be that person too. When I'm like an old lady and I naturally start going gray, I'm just going to let it happen. I had silver hair and it made my skin look so awful, so a beigey blonde looks a lot better on me. Mm, that's true, yeah. I think that's definitely something to consider is skin tone because gray is definitely like very cool toned. Um, I think for me, it could work because I'm very fair, um, but alas, it's just so hard to achieve. So for now, I've been, oh, I made her lips like huge. Hold on, that might be overkill to be honest. Um, I, yeah, for now I'm sticking with just having my natural hair color um, cause I want to grow it out long. And so I think it's best to just leave it natural for now and then revisit maybe a fun color later. Cause I've been doing, I've been bleaching my hair and doing fun colors for a long time. Uh, so gotta let it gotta let it breathe for now <laughs> we love a dichotomy <laughs> uh as a split dye haired girly can confirm maintaining a silver is hard and expensive oh my gosh megan i'm so jealous i love a split dye um that's like my dream hair i think don't feel bad about your dark hair i just switched to dark dark brown and I've never felt more fulfilled. Oh uh, yeah, honestly, I am actually really enjoying the dark hair. I think because I'm fair, it's nice like to have like that stark contrast, especially because I have these like hime pieces and like the bangs. So I actually am really enjoying my dark hair right now. My character for Tina's art contest has split dye hair. I love her. I named her Keiko and I thought her nickname could be Kiki or Kiwi. My friends say Kiwi. Oh my God, that's a cute Andy. That is adorable. I love that. I'm excited to see her. Um, I'd love to go black and white split hair. No way can I upkeep it. So I gave it to my character. Yep, totally. I feel like that's a big part of why I love uh, drawing original characters and like creating character designs is just like, yeah, wish fulfillment for sure. Definitely with, yeah, makeup, fashion, clothes. That's why drawing femme characters is so fun. Have you ever watched Snow White with the red hair? It's an anime, super good. I haven't actually. I'll definitely keep an eye out for that. I love like fairy tale stuff, like reimaginings. It's so fun. I've got to go get my food. I'm leaving the stream for now, but Tina and everyone, thanks for the vibes. Thanks, Ryan. Enjoy your food. I hope it's yummy. Boop, boop, boop. I'm a natural brunette and my mom let me get a platinum pixie cut in high school and it was such a nightmare to get and then grow out. Oh my god, that's so cool though. Like, good for you and for your mom for like letting you do that. That's awesome. My friend in college had a platinum blonde pixie cut and it was so fun. Such a cool look. But I do imagine that was very tough to grow out. <laughs> But honestly, like, life is short, hair grows back, you know, for, not for everybody, but, you know, for most people. Um, so I'm, I'm here for, like, the adventurous um, fashion and hair choices because we're only getting older. 
time is now to be adventurous. It's important that we make Sophie look kind. We definitely want her to look soft and kind. I think the face is looking too sharp. I just bleached my hair last week, so I gotta be careful of my hair condition. I did it myself. Oh, good job, Mila. Oh my gosh. I really appreciate your art. It inspires me so much. Thank you for being so incredible. Aw, thanks, Wesley. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, my hair was red forever. Bleaching half my head was definitely a massive change. Wow, that's crazy. That is so exciting, though. That's so fun. It was not flattering, but it was super cool of her to let me. She, your mom was probably like, She's just going to keep asking me and I'll just let her do it and then she'll learn her lesson. <laughs> but now you know. Now you know. Otherwise, you would constantly wonder. A couple years ago, I went a burgundy split with black and it was awesome until my ginger roots started to show. And then I looked dull. Looked, then I looked full on trashy Halloween town. Oh, no. <laughs> it was good while it lasted. I hope I hope you um, got a lot of photos. Kind of like the idea of having her hair sort of blowing in the wind. So maybe we'll do like this. Yeah, this feels like it's coming together so much faster than the Roy Mustang, so that's good. We'll get around to more than... We'll get around to a couple of characters, thankfully. Or more than two characters, I should say. And then, oh yeah, I wanted to do the braid, right? Let's do the braid right here. One. How do I do a braid? I don't know. <laughs> and then let's do a little bow right here cute I think that's the right length of her hair right? I think so That's how, I be, uh, that's how I feel about my style. I'm in my mid-twenties and realize I need to just wear what I want even if it is out there. My style is very much like ethereal elven vibe, so I just go all in on it. Yes, absolutely. That's how I have been for a lot of my adult life. Um, I think essentially probably when I started going to college, um, I was kind of just like, you know what? I'm in a time in my life where I'm I'm never going to get these years back and why not just experiment and have fun with my style because at the end of the day it's just clothes 
you know? And for me, especially as a creative person, I see clothes and fashion and style as like another outlet for creative expression. And I definitely think that it's sort of an extension of my personality essentially. I'm a natural blondie and I dye my hair ginger. It's very easy and the color stays on so well, but good lord, the root growth is tragic. My grandma thought I had a bald spot. Oh no! <laughs> Life is too short to worry about other people's opinions and stuff like that. Exactly. It's crazy how much she already looks like Sophie. Yay, I'm glad! Go for it, Mila. Wear what you want and what you love. Yes. Tina, remember to hydrate. Oh, thank you, Bia. Hydration reminder, everybody. My closet is Victorian spiritualist meets pop punk rock or it's gym wear. Oh my god, I love it. I love like such unexpected mashups, but it sounds amazing. Oh my god, the braid is so cute. I love it. Thank you. Um, chatting a little bit with y'all has been really helpful with distracting me from anxiety thoughts. Thank you, Tina and other wanderers. Yay, so happy to hear that. Some days I dress the exact same way I dress as a nine-year-old girl in the 90s. Other days, completely different. I feel like I don't have a definable style. I just vibe with many different things. I feel the same way, Nifty. I feel like I like a lot of different aesthetics. Um, I actually just got a comment on YouTube on my, I did a reel or like a short video where I was like, what I wear to the My Chemical Romance concert. And you know, it was like a very like black, you know, like kind of emo, esque kind of fit and someone put like a bunch of like your room and like all these like cutesy girly pink um emojis and then it's like your taste in music and like all these like really aggressive ones in like relation to my chemical romance which like definitely sums up me because i think i really like both of those things i like wearing kind of like dark pop punk kind of gothy witchy type of stuff but then i also love like pastels and coquette and you know whatever It's the Libra in me. Obsessed with aesthetics, but also very indecisive. <laughs> my ideal style is vintage A-line wool skirt plus sweater librarian chic. Oh my God, the amount of A-line wool skirts that I have thrifted over the past couple of years is like, my, my skirt selection is like getting out of control but i love it i love an a-line skirt <laughs> it's definitely um a go-to silhouette for me for sure yes the pastels versus black and dark aesthetics i feel you right like i am both nanas from the series or i am both my melody and karomi <laughs> okay that was super quick and fast amazing let's get to rendering her let's see okay most of the time i kind of default to this shade but let's see i have another one here let's see what this one yeah let's go with this color actually it's like just it's very slight but it is a tiny bit different um and in terms of i think yeah okay i think we're gonna do this for highlights.
Ah, I finally caught another live stream. This is lovely. Thanks so much. Welcome, welcome. Also, can I say how I love it that you automatically shorten my name to Nifty? <laughs> is that okay? Are we okay with uh, Nifty? <laughs> Some in real life friends also call me Nifty. Oh my god, okay, perfect. <laughs> kind of off topic, but since it's concert season, are you planning to go to any concerts this year? <gasps> I have tickets to Toro uh, Tomorrow by Together. I'm seeing TXT in New York. I'm so excited. Um, my friend and I are gonna make like a whole weekend out of it because I'm in Toronto. Uh, so it's, we gotta fly out to New York, um, but it'll be worth it for the boys. And uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. I've never seen TXT before because they've never come to Canada. Uh, so yeah, we gotta, we gotta make it work. We're gonna make it happen. We're going to New York. It'll be very fun and that is yeah that's the mm, currently that's the only concert i have lined up but i am anticipating hopefully some more hopefully <laughs> uh chat is there any other concerts or are there any concerts that you guys are going to love to hear I love how Sophie is just stunning next to a very dramatic man. Like that's a familiar place to find her. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> She's just like, just another day. Ah, I just saw the stream notification. Hello, hello, welcome. Oh my gosh, the notification is so late, um, but happy to have you no matter which time you're entering the stream. Um, we are currently drawing Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. We're gonna do this like fun coral color for the shadows. losing a lot of the sketch here but hopefully I will be able to bring it all back a piece of advice that I did not follow that I always tell people to do is to take a photo of your sketch just in case you need to reference it again and I forgot to do that but honestly it's probably gonna be fine it's like not that serious but Been looking for new places to shop because I'm a broke college student and I feel bad about contributing to fast fashion, but there are no affordable thrift stores where I am. Oh, that's such a bummer. I love, I love thrifting. It's so much fun. Uh, just one Voltaire and Vision video in May. Ooh, that's fun. Um, well, apparently Snoop Dogg is coming to Toronto, so maybe that uh, would just go out of curiosity. That is fascinating. I did not know he was touring. <laughs> Good for him. Stray Kids will be in the UK in summer, but I'm in Scotland and I can't travel down that late, down that date. Tragics, truly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mila. I, Stray Kids, they gotta release the tour dates. Give it to me. Oh, I really love the lighting on her face. Thank you. I struggle with making bold shadows work, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Thank you. Honestly, yeah, so much of the knowledge that I have absorbed for dramatic uh, shadows or just like blocking shadows out like this is from anime for sure. Or just like animated stuff in general. Uh, TXT is so much fun. You're going to love it. I'm going to their show in LA and hopefully I get tickets to see Bruno Mars in August. <gasps> Bruno Mars... That would be an amazing concert. You know he's gonna perform the house down boots. <laughs> no concerts upcoming, I'm broke AF, 
but I just saw Fall Out Boy and oh my god, it was the best even though my voice was gone for a week after. <gasps> Fall Out Boy, so fun! I saw Fall Out Boy during the tour that they did, the joint tour that they did with Paramore and it was the best. Like my pop punk child, inner teenage child, teenager, teenager, my inner teenage self was freaking out. It was so much fun. Any Stray Kids recommendations? I only know Megaverse to be honest. I definitely think God's Menu is like definitely something that really catapulted them. And I really like Thunderous as well. If you want to get a little spicy, we could do Red Lights. Um, <laughs> if we want to be more bouncy, more fun, um, Back Door. Venom, oh yeah, Venom is fun. Um, speaking of animated stuff, I forgot to tell you, but I watched Blue Eye Samurai because of one of your streams and it is now one of my favorite shows of all time. The character, <gasps> the pigeons, the pigeons are testing me. I think they flew through my balcony, but didn't actually land. Mm -mm -mm. Um, <laughs> the character did have the themes. Yes, okay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Everyone, if you have Netflix, and you like animated shows and you're okay with a little bit of gore and some adult themes, highly recommend Blue Eye Samurai. It is amazing. So good. I am so glad that you enjoyed it, Bia, cause yeah, it is a fantastic show and it's confirmed for a second season. So we're winning, amazing. Oh, I should do her lips. Um, that's, <laughs> it's looking a little funky. Um, let's do, in Ottawa, the Robins are having street fights with each other. It's very intense. Oh my God, it sounds like real life Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so sad that it came out so recently because that means we have to wait for the second season. I know, it's gonna be a while too, because like animation takes so long and the caliber of excellence um, takes time. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait a while. That's like, where is Arcane season two? Do we know? Like, especially that cliffhanger, bro. I need that yesterday. If you really like well done music videos, S Class is genuinely so cool. The behind the scenes show of all the practical effects and great way to experience music for sure. Yeah, K pop music videos are crazy. Like, they, the production on them are, is wild. Like, my friend and I, we were doing like a, you know, K pop music video binge yesterday, and the algorithm was just showing us all the 80s uh, music videos, and like, they are full on movies. Like, it is cinema. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I think Arcane is coming this fall. Yes! Okay, 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 good, 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 good. I just looked it up, November 2024. Yes! Okay, thank God. Like, I will absolutely wait as long as it takes because you can't rush perfection, but I know, I know. It's gonna be good. It'll be worth the wait for sure. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, wow. Roy Mustang. I know. Yes. I know we, I know people have been calling, uh, Daniel Day Kim as Fire Lord Orze, Fire Lord Ozai as Daddy Ozai, Fire, Fire Daddy, Daddy Fire Lord, but Roy Mustang is also. <laughs> 
and is that Sophie? It is Sophie. Um, 80s Halazia is my fave movie, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Like literally, my friend said that too yesterday. She was like, she was like, we gotta watch Halazia. We have to. She was like, the the ending is so intense. I was like, it's true. 80s knows how to end a music video and a song. It's just like, it's cinema, <laughs> truly. <laughs> I see chat has turned to K-pop while I was gone. Guys, you can't chat K-pop without me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you came at the right time. You came at the right time. We were talking about Blue Eye Samurai and Arcane, but we're also talking about K-pop. You know, I as as a um as a lover of many things, I'm happy to talk multiple multiple topics. This, this marker is running out, I think. It's like very watery, unfortunately, but let's see. I have another one. Sometimes it just means you have to shake it really good, but let's do, oh, here we go. This one's a little bit better. Mm, maybe not, I need to let it dry and then we'll come back to it. Yes. Nice, love both characters. Thanks. Um, suddenly I have the urge to draw Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Where has this come from? Okay, Mila, that is insane. That is insane because I literally came across a TikTok of a drag queen performing as Lord Farquaad. It's so funny. <laughs> Can I show it? I feel like... I don't want to get demonetized. Let me, okay, maybe I'll just do it without the sound on. Like I'll show you guys without the sound. Hey, who's the best dresser? Oh, my, my TikTok immediately, it's Jong-An. <laughs> Jong-An from 17. <laughs> the algorithm knows too much. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna have the audio on just because, just for monetization copyright purposes, but basically the drag queen is doing the monologue of like when they're interrog interrogating uh, the gingerbread man and the gingerbread man's like, not my gum drop button. And then it's, and then it uh, transitions into buttons by pussycat dolls. <laughs> It's genius. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the 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 peak of my humor, okay? <sighs> my K-pop senses were tingling. I knew I had to come. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Oh my god, Blue Eye Samurai, I loved Akemi. <gasps> I agree. I think Akemi would definitely, uh, like, a little bit underrated in terms of, like, the conversation around the show. I think that, like, given the era that, you know, the time period, um, I think they did a really great job at giving this character agency and autonomy about her circumstances, but working within the realm of the logistics of that era. So good. I gotta draw it now, it's a sign. Iconic, oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh. Acrylic markers have become the bane of my existence. To be fair though, I use really cheap ones. They can be a little bit challenging. Um, I definitely do think that the Posca markers are my favorite. Um, they are very, very good. But I, I, I totally feel you, they can be very frustrating. Okay, actually, I was having so much fun, but I do need to run to the bathroom again and fill up my water hydration reminder, friends. So this is your cue to also stretch, get up, walk around a little bit, take a little break. I'll be back.
to the hydration station we go <laughs> it's looking amazing keep up the good work thanks ian akemi is incredible and one of my faves right yes uh i i got it i'm gonna draw a shrek character's anime style <laughs> yes that's so funny oh my god love it um okay so let's continue sophie so the under part we'll do with this purpley gray color i could have done a blue as well but it's nice to break up the blue and i think a lot of the blues that i have are a little bit more saturated whereas this is definitely much more muted which is nice since her hair is like a silver essentially such a pretty color it's definitely giving spring right this is what color is this where does it say uh, what the heck hmm. am I going crazy oh it's on the lid here we go mauve nope oh it's in German Leader. Oh, lilac pastel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. B brain cells is working, working hard, but not hard enough. Is that kicking it you were humming? I think so. Wait, what was it? Was do, 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 do. that NCT song? Let me introduce you to some new things. New things. Is that kick? Is what is that? Is that what <laughs> Did anyone see the video of who Lord Farquaad's parents? Snow White and Grumpy. He has the same shoulder poofs as Snow White and shortness from Grumpy. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> that's amazing. That is so good. Okay. Not kicking it. It's kick it. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> We're cl close, close. I'm a very casual NCT fan, but it's it is NCT, right? I don't know which is NCT, but but I know Mark Lee because he's everywhere, and also he's a Canadian Canadian boy, so I gotta keep track. Gotta keep track of all the Canadian members, K-pop K-pop idols. All right, so let's do her shirt, or don't, no, the top of her dress, I mean. Um, and I guess could use the same color as the, mm, kind of want it to be different from the, Roy, the main color I used for the Roy Mustang jacket. I am also realizing that the Roy Mustang jacket I probably should have made darker since he's since that jacket actually is quite dark but 
we're we're done working on him so let's see i have um this color let's see nct127 ah yes okay I have to hop off, but I'm so glad I was able to catch a stream. Thank you for sharing your amazing art and goofing around with us. Thanks for coming, Bia. Happy to have you. Um, back from being a lurker. Just finished my frenemy character. Not entering the giveaway, but had to make an illustration. Yay! Oh, I'm glad. No worries. I'm uh, I'm excited that you were able to have fun drawing a frenemy. I used to be an NCT stan, but there's too many of them now. I haven't listened to any of their new stuff in a few years. Yeah, NCT is like, that is a commitment and a half. I praise, praise all of the NCT fans because that is a lot. Ooh, yes. Okay, this color is it. Perfect. Do I have a bigger one of this? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. Okay, that is perfect. This color is so pretty. Oop, I just put my hand in it while it was still wet. I just realized I didn't really do the the lighting <laughs> on this. Let me uh, let me try and rectify that. Eh, it's kind of hard to do. I'm just gonna fill everything in, honestly. And I think I'll just do I'll just do a straight cut off like this. I don't love doing that. I like having like a more artistic version to do the cutoff, but like with hair, but it's okay. Oh, I love the color. It's nice, right? Oh, are you guys in the frame still? Okay, good. We are. Good, good, good. There's an eclipse tomorrow. There is. I haven't doubled. I haven't like fully looked into exactly how to see it in my area, but pretty cool. That's a tasty color. Nom. <laughs> oh, I live in Europe, so that's why I didn't hear of it. Oh, it's in North America. If you're in the UK, you might be able to see devil's horns. Wow. Yes, that's true. I always forget that with uh yeah like solar eclipses and stuff it's like everyone has a different vantage point It's not like perfectly flat, but I'm okay with it. And her eye color is like a very muted brown, kind of like a pretty dark brown actually. Uh, so let's see, I don't have any muted browns. Like the browns that I have are quite warm, but let's see. Ooh just touch that while it was still wet. I think actually that's fine. I think that's fine. This color palette is popping off. Thank you. It definitely does feel very me. The pinks and the blues and the soft purples. Definitely very different from this one, which is kind of fun because even though we're doing blue color palettes, um, they're very different from each other, which is pretty cool. Okay, can I attempt to leave an area for the highlight? Let's 
let's see not bad not bad okay Oh, I have friends in Belgium that I gotta visit. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Almost went to study there, but ended up in uh, Hasselt. I've actually never been to Europe, guys. I really should go soon. Or I mean, not soon. I'm going to, I'm doing like a humongous trip to Korea um, later this year. So not soon, but maybe next year. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm still accepting friends to come along to, uh, to, to Korea with me that, that um, I actually added sketchbook sessions to so we can have hangouts like this while we're in Korea and traveling in Korea and eating and having a good time. Um, just, you know, just a shameless little plug here. Um, for those of you who don't already know about it yet, I'm teaming up with Trova Trip and we are going to be doing a retreat with some of you to Korea. Um, it's going to be, we're going to be going to Seoul and Busan September 25th to October 1st. And it is basically just going to be us and a tour guide, local tour guide. So we don't have to worry about like navigating the city um or knowing the language and we get to hang out have fandom chats just like we are right having right now check out amazing sites in korea eat lots of food and i'm also doing some sketchbook sessions as well um either cafes or a park and i have the link in the description if you want to you know find out more info but i think it'll be very very fun um, this is something I've never done before and it's very, um, bold of me to go on this venture, but I think it'll be really, really, uh, memorable and special. Um, the pictures they send me are always so pretty. I love the buildings there. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love looking at architecture and I think that's, what's really cool for me as someone who lives in Canada, like visiting um different countries especially asia um and obviously i'm sure with europe too in the future is the architecture is just so different from what i've what i see here in canada the architecture in canada is honestly like not that interesting <laughs> like there's just not a lot of history here the path of totality in canada is from southern ontario and then it'll continue through Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Cape Breton. Oh wow, okay, that is so cool. I am in fact in Southern Ontario. I got curious and looked, Tina, looks like total solar eclipse could be seen from parts of Southern Ontario on Monday. <gasps> yes, okay, so tomorrow. Am I late? I mean, I technically did start at one o'clock and we are now at 4.30, but happy to have you even if it's late because we're still drawn and having a good time oh i really wish i could go but i'm already going to be traveling with my fam but i hope the trip will be so good to you all thanks so much i wish you could come too where are you and your fam going i'd love to know um hi again tina sorry i had to leave and now i have to leave again lol y'all go to korea if not for you for me i will live vicariously through you the drawings look so great thanks so much austin wish you could come but totally understand it's like smack dab in like early school year so totally understandable that is such a cool idea thanks sarah yeah i think it's like such a unique experience um i follow um with Cindy on YouTube and she has done a bunch of these Trova trips with her followers to like Vietnam and Japan and Bali and it's just like such a unique thing to to do because 
when you're somebody like who has like an internet personality or like you're a creator you really create like such a unique relationship with your audience and i think for me especially being somebody who does these live streams and talks to you guys about like you know everything like art you know um k-pop and anime and tv shows and even like sharing my bad dates with you um like we're already like prepped and primed to just have like good vibes and be like i feel like good travel buddies because to me what's what makes a good trip is like not only the place that you're in but also the people that you travel with because you could be in like the most amazing place but if like the people you're with are just like not your vibe then it can only be so fun uh da, 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 da. i would totally book the korea trip if i wasn't forced to attend school to be able to get my physiotherapy degree oh totally get it um i studied abroad in cambridge the buildings are all amazing i'm dying to go back mm, yes traveling is so much fun um studying abroad is amazing also by the way that's so cool a uh, trip sounds like so much fun i wish i could go my health kind of tanked so i'll just draw and live vicariously through you tina oh i'm sorry sorry to hear about your health but I will definitely be documenting everything while I'm there. Um, we're actually going to Japan, so I gotta save money, but I've been wanting to go to for years. So I'm so happy we're going, but wish I could travel with art slash a band of peeps too. Oh my gosh, Japan is amazing. I'm so excited for you. Um, I don't know if you've seen, I went to Japan last year and I made a couple vlogs about it. So if you're looking for some Japan uh, ideas or just want to like, watch some japan content shameless plug for my japan vlogs <laughs> um but i'm so excited for you japan is incredible it was also on my travel list for many many years and it was a dream come true to be able to go so now korea is the next the next one so i'm extremely excited to be able to go to korea and on top of that being able to go with and hang out with some of you potentially is like the cherry on top for sure Uh, rooting for a Europe trip in 2025 that I can join and also help with infos for Switzerland if you need any help. Aw, thanks so much. I appreciate it. The thing is, I mean, let's manifest it, but I can't, I can't do another one if this one doesn't happen. Um, but let's hope because I absolutely would love to be able to do more. So manifesting, manifesting. But seriously, would love to have you guys come to Korea because Korea is going to be incredible. Art, K-pop, TV shows, anime, jazz, OC, what more can you ask for? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you're viewing the eclipse tomorrow, be sure to do safely. It is such a cool experience. I was able to travel to the path of totality during the last one. Wow, so cool. I know that's a thing is like I didn't look too much into it because I don't have any glasses. Um, for it and i'm not really sure what is um what the precautions are and what i need to do in order to view it but i really feel like i should look into it properly because that is a very unique experience to have and to be in the path um for it so i should look into it Hi, just joined am i light no worries we're still we're still hanging out i probably won't be streaming for i mean actually i do want to get to one more character so maybe we'll be streaming for like maybe another hour or something ish uh, i'm not sure i'd want to go to europe europe scares me aw um i mean europe is big there's like so many places to go in europe and like the amazing thing about trova trip is like you have a local like a professional local guide with you the whole time or with us um so like they help navigate like transit and getting from place to place and like the like Trova Trip is like a professional company and they do these trips like um, many times throughout the year and um, so like you don't have to worry about like language barriers and um, you'll be you you know will be like in a big group of people too so it's like definitely safe. Um, 
my trip to Korea, we need 10 minimum and then can go up to 24. So that, that's like a, like a nice group of people to feel like, you know, comforted and safe with. Oh man, girl, that would be so fun to go with you. I'm so sad I can't go. I'm sure that this isn't the only wonder treat you will want to do, right? I absolutely would love to do more, but we have to make this one happen first. <laughs> um, all you need is a box. Get a box and cut a little hole into it. The eclipse shape will be seen in the light shining into the box. <gasps> oh, okay, perfect. I definitely have some... Uh, way too many extra cardboard boxes laying around. Hubby and I want to do a Japan trip. I don't want to do a tour group though, but would love to do the same thing. You did have a local friend to take you around and spend time with. Yes, having a local person go with you is definitely um, very, very helpful. I... Um, actually getting pretty close to done like I'm not going to do too much shading on her I think from here um, just because I really want to get to another character so friends shall we throw in some uh, candidates for a third character I think at this point it's a free-for-all in terms of gender I think we could do a male or a female character and um, and now that I know that the live stream has poll capabilities that is a game changer it makes it so much easier for us to pick so um we can do i keep staring at your roy to be honest ended up being amazing <laughs> thanks thanks mila um howl maybe i do love howl but i think for the sake of variety we'll do a non-ghibli character And yeah, we, I think we want to stick with the blue theme, but someone did suggest that having some kind of red incorporated because of the other side of this, the, um, the page here has some red. So that could help maybe give us some more ideas. I'm making these lashes so long, but classic me. She 
she does look she doesn't look nearly as kind of soft as um the sketch did so i need to figure out what is maybe there we go it's crazy how little little changes like that can really change the way mm. What type of color pencils are those? They look so smooth. I am using two different ones. This one is the Faber-Castell Polychromos, and then I'm also using the Prismacolor Premier. I should have both of them linked in the description, but yeah, they are my go-to color pencils. There's something about her that feels not quite right. Um, trying to figure out, maybe the eyes are too dark. Let me see. soften I think yeah because the the piece is so pastel and Sophie is like such a soft character so it just feels a little harsh the so let's just like pastel oh yeah okay I think that's helping actually Maybe Todoroki, he has a good mix of red and blue. <laughs> it's a, it's so funny. We actually already did Todoroki in the last uh, in the last page. Is it Sailor Neptune's turn now? Definitely an option for sure. Inuyasha, is that you? It is Inuyasha. He. <laughs> Maybe Hatori Chise, Ancient Magnus Bride. I haven't. I'm not familiar with that one. It sounds familiar though. Sophie has that good mascara. I know, right? <laughs> from fruits basket orange hair would be fun i admit i'm actually more biased for the rat character i forget his name right now which makes me sound like a fake fan um <laughs> i'm like blanking right now i have to sleep now but if it fits the page no pressure i'll be looking forward to that small filler squirtle hee <laughs> hee thank you everyone for your and love your drawings tina thanks so much yes squirtle is definitely going to make the page somewhere for sure Coraline, she's not anime or K-pop, but she would be so cool in your style. I actually have an entire YouTube video drawing Coraline, um, and I sell her as a print on my shop. My shop's not open right now, but I'm gonna be sh opening the shop later this month. Uh, but I have drawn Cora, uh, Coraline. Sorry, we were talking about Avatar earlier, so now I'm like Cora. Um, whenever you add the color pencils, it ends up looking so polished. I love it. Thanks so much. Oh my god, oh, I totally didn't see him on your other page. <laughs> it worked out though, now you get to see him. Um, Sailor Neptune, Misty from Pokemon has a great color palette. 
we're, we're really in an orange. I'm seeing there's an orange vision here. I guess maybe because to add in like the red. Um, Ancient Magnus Bride is a beauty ex beast kind of show. Season two is more like a Harry Potter Magic Academy show. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, Beastars. Beastars is supposed to have a third season coming out soon. Old Lady Sophie has my heart to be honest. I love to draw her. Um, yeah, Old Lady Sophie is so sweet. A shop update, so excited. Yes, finally, I'm gonna draw Azula um, in the, like my other avatar portraits and then I will update the shop so that I have all the new listings and yeah, the shop will be opening. I don't know exact date yet, just yet, but definitely this month for sure. Like probably in the later half of the month. Yuki, no me too. Everyone is always a Kyo fan. I'm with you, lol. I thought Kyo just for the red blue contrast. Definitely agree, red blue contrast for Kyo. And yes, Yuki is correct. Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Yuki, he's just a sweet little boy. He's so sweet. Um, I feel like a part of me was like, ooh, do I draw Yuki? But it would be too similar to Sophie because he also has like silver hair. Toby from One Piece is also blue. I have not made it to Toby yet. I'm like a very new One Piece fan. <laughs> Fair warning about AGM though, he does literally buy his bride. Ah, okay, it's one of those. I see, I see. Soft boys for the win. Uh, draw Megan Trainer. Sorry, I'm three hours late. Um, I have to admit, I'm not a Megan Trainer fan. Sorry about it. Confession: I have your brushes, and I'm being too damn precious with them. I haven't been able to bring myself to get them dirty. Aww. Thank you so much for grabbing them. Um, I totally feel you on that. I definitely am somebody who is um, very precious about art supplies, but I hope that you get around to using them and. Uh, enjoy using them but um yes i appreciate it thank you ua from avatar but with good hair though lol <laughs> yeah they did her dirty with that wig um i'm gonna say no on ua just because we sophie already is a character with silver hair um and ua i feel like has like an extremely similar color palette um But I do think, yeah, you know what? Kyo from Fruits Baskets actually would help bring in some of the warm tones from the other page. But I'm just like, I'm, I'm like a loyal, I'm like, a, I'm being loyal to Yuki, I feel like. Does Sophie have earrings? No, she doesn't. Okay. Maybe Nana Osaki. <gasps> I love Nana. I love Nana so much. What better occasion than to start using them than an I'm a Wonder live stream? True, true. Very random suggestion, but maybe Anastasia in that glittery blue dress she wears towards the end. Oh, I'm just trying to think of red blue characters. <gasps> okay, I do live for that. I love Anastasia and she is so beautiful and that moment is so iconic it's like straight out of titanic have you have we have you guys seen that comparison um with like 
yeah the anastasia like the animated musical when she's wearing that blue dress and the white gloves and then she's like at the top of the stairs and then dimitri sees her and then like comparing it to titanic with rose on the staircase and jack seeing her it's like so similar and so good kagami from lucky star unfortunately i'm not familiar with lucky star love the roy mustang thank you um tina i noticed you often say i wonder when you're trying to decide about something on your drawings it happens pretty often and it's pretty it's funny with your handle i never noticed that <laughs> that's so funny though <laughs> okay okay um i am enjoying i'm enjoying the anastasia suggestion i've never seen that titanic comparison but oh my god i see it Okay, I'm deaf a fan of the Anastasia idea. Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay. Loving the pencil on the Posca, right? It's like not something I had ever considered before, but it's a really interesting combo. And I feel like I get a lot of nice control with it. I know that this Sophie is like clearly way less um, rendered than the Roy Mustang, but just for the sake of efficiency here and wanting to get to another character, I'll probably like finish, like do more with this later. But um, yeah, I really want to get to at least a third character while we're, while I have you here with me. Today I planted some tomatoes. I feel like a little farmer girl now. That's amazing! Living your little like Animal Crossing life. That's so cute. A similar vein as Anastasia, but with more red. Ariel in her blue dress. Ooh! I love that blue outfit. When they're like going around the town. Uh, belated, but I just finished fruit, fruits baskets and I'm crushed. It was so good. Oh my God, okay. See, the thing with me and Fruits Baskets is I have not finished it. <laughs> I should though. I've only seen like, so I had watched, I actually literally have like the first manga. Um, and like, so I go way back with it, like in high school and I had watched some of it, the original run of the anime and then I didn't finish it or it never finished, right? And then I watched the new season of the reboot of it and I've only seen the first season. Um, oh no, finish it. I know, but because I'm a Yuki stan, I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Draw yummy daddy Ozai. <laughs> that would be really funny, wouldn't it? Kyo gets better, I swear. Okay, okay. Starfire. Ooh, Starfire is a good choice too. We go like a little bit more purple, like purple and orange and red. I really like how the shadow stands out with your drawing. Thanks so much. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yuki gets such a rewarding love interest. Last season emotionally wrecked me. <gasps> really? Okay, okay. That's mm, okay. That makes me feel more inclined to watch it. Uh, Mortal Kombat girly. I'm. I, I mentioned this earlier, I, um, my nerdy blind spot is I don't play video games, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Curly haired starfire, it's so good, so sad, oh no! I'm like, I'm, I'm such a crybaby with TV shows, mm, this is why I haven't seen Banana Fish, because I just, I don't think I could ever be emotionally prepared for it. 
um i gotta get in a silly little walk for my silly little mental health but it's been so much fun hanging out i hope to catch you in the next one thanks for joining megan and i am definitely on board with going for a silly little walk for the silly little mental health so good job donkey's wife from shrek i mean we are doing a shrek anime thing before <laughs> <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I like, like, I like, I like. Okay, I'm gonna set up a poll because we're gonna be here forever otherwise. So we're gonna do Anastasia and Anastasia. It took me a second, my brain. Anastasia. Um, Ariel. Starfire. When I was a kid, I had a crush on the dragon from Shrek. <laughs> That's amazing. <sighs> I have K-pop tingly senses. Mila and Joss have Shrek tingly senses. <laughs> I love it. I was spoiled the ending for Banana Fish and still wasn't emotionally ready when I watched it. See, I can't, I cannot, I can't do it. I can't. Oh, I'm too afraid to watch Banana Fish. Yeah, a rewatch Banana Fish. See, mm -mm. I think I just have to just accept that is a series that I don't know if I'll ever be able to watch. Oh, okay. It looks like Starfire is winning the poll, but Anastasia is not too far behind. Not too far. Okay. I'll give it a little bit more time always have the shrek tangle the shrinkle if you will <laughs> so funny um oh my god i'm back oh my god you're here for the poll Ooh, anastasia and starfire are like neck and neck now it is a close call And actually what's really great about the Starfire, actually well, this lineup in general, is that we're moving away from anime. Not that I'm obviously mad at anime drawings, but I do want to um, diversify the spread here. And it works out for, the, for those of you who are not anime fans. Anastasia's winning now, ooh, dang, okay. We've got 30 votes in. I'm happy with either, so the poll is a win-win. There's just something about her eyes that are, I don't know what it is. I'm trying to figure out why I don't love them. Maybe, maybe the irises need to be bigger. That might be it. I'm 
Fisher. Oh, Anastasia is winning. I think Anastasia won. I love this movie and the song. Don't look at the Pulsar for one. <laughs> Anas wait, Anastasia from the Princess movie? Or yes, Anastasia like musical 90s movie, animated movie. Starfire, aw, sorry guys. It looks like Anastasia's winning. Anastasia in her blue gown with gloves on the top of the stairs. Yes, wish I could vote twice. A spider just fell on me, I'm going to scream. Oh my God, no, I'm so sorry, Mila, that's awful. Uh, it's just that Sophie already gives soft princess vibes. Mmm, that is true, that is true. I'm new here, so I'm just wondering if you have set stream dates or if you just do them randomly. Unfortunately, I do kind of do them randomly. Usually I do them at the beginning of each month, but there's no like set schedule yet. Um, but I do try my best to make a post on YouTube, community tab, my Patreon, and on Instagram stories. Usually I try a week in advance to notify everyone, but it usually ends up being like a few days. <laughs> um, Uh, how are you using pencil over paint pens? That never works for me. I'm making sure that they're very sharp and I am probably pressing kind of hard. <laughs> I'm pretty heavy handed. Um, pretty sure screaming will make it worse. Anastasia is such a good movie. Really recommended to anyone here and I voted for Anastasia. Um, wow, people are getting really invested with this poll. I know. Um, Okay, okay, here's my case for Starfire. Starfire lost and I was emotionally invested. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> she is a magical space princess who shoots lasers. She has gorgeous hair. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, you know, Sobs quietly. <laughs> that was a hard pull to be honest. They're all so good. She is POC coded. This is true. This is true. Um, I will say, I am a very, very big Teen Titans fan. Um, and I feel like I have been itching to do Teen Titans fan art for a while, specifically Raven and Starfire like proper fan art. Um, so I feel like even though there is definitely some Starfire stands in the chat, uh, Anastasia did win the poll. But also I won't have time for both today but there is technically space for two characters at the bottom here, probably. Although I will say, I managed to fit way more in this spread. Probably, and I also did like a wider variety of things, like, like posing wise. Maybe I do both. There's always next time, exactly, exactly. We're just joking around. Yes, I do love the investment. Lou love the level of investment. Okay, so what we're gonna do, both and then a squirtle popped in there. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's do, okay. We, so Sophie is like kind of done, kind of not, honestly, but all right, let's. Remember to hydrate everyone. Yes, hydration reminder. Okay, Anastasia. Okay, oh yeah, I'm gonna end the poll. Anastasia won. Yo, the poll is so fun. I love it. Anastasia. I 
love democracy. <laughs> I finally caught one of your streams. Hello, welcome, welcome. I have not been hydrating. Oh no! Hydration, hydration. Okay. It is so good. Um, okay. Let me see. I'm trying to think, cause how one, two, three, four, five. I fit way more on this side. Um, so I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll try and make Anastasia a tiny bit smaller, um, so that maybe I can fit more on this side in the future. Um, but yes, okay. I'm sad there won't be more high Q seasons. I know, I'm so heartbroken about that. I A part of me is like, I guess that's my sign to like read the manga maybe, but I am definitely going to try and get tickets for, to see it in theaters, which, which reminds me, I need to get tickets for my friend and I to see the Gundam Seed movie in theaters because they just announced, or recently announced uh, that they have it uh, in theaters in Canada now. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, so let's, oh my gosh, my desk is getting very full. Let's move you guys on down here for this part of the page. I got tired of waiting for the new movie, so I read the manga and my life has never been more fulfilled. Okay, Kai, I see you. I'm convinced. <laughs> Haikyuu is just like the ultimate comfort series. Like it's just so wholesome and so sweet. <laughs> I gotta start Haikyuu. I've been so occupied by new anime, Cough Cough, Apothecary Diaries. Okay, just please tell me. Okay, because my thing with Apothecary Diaries I started watching it and you know I was seeing a lot of hype for it and I don't know I I think I one I thought it was a romance series but I don't it doesn't seem like it's a romance series um, and also um, right now like I've seen I don't know how many episodes I've seen but there's no um, overarching plot so far like they're all episodic which I don't know it's hard to I haven't been able to keep keep with it like it's not retaining my attention but everybody loves it so I'm like is there something wrong with me am I missing something What art style inspiration? I have a lot of I have a I have a lot of art inspos, um, but I definitely think that an obvious one is anime for sure. It has romance elements. Okay, um, I just started Doctor Stone. I have no idea if I like it or not, but it's going by so fast, so I must enjoy it. <laughs> I have feelings about Doctor Stone. Everyone tells me they're like try to get past you know like the broccoli hair or the bok choy hair like people are like it's really good i swear uh, but i don't know man his character design is wild <laughs> so yeah i'm making anastasia like a lot smaller 
down here, but it's kind of sad because you don't get the full effect of the, the beautiful blue gown. But Roy Mustang took up so much space, so there isn't really anything I can do about that. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I think I still get to, um, we still get to have the gloves up at the top here of the arms. So, and we get the top of the dress. So, it's all good. It is iconic, though. There is kind of, I can't really spoil, but it's there. Okay, yeah, that's fair. It's, <laughs> Mamo's heritage is quite important later on. Okay, okay. I just gotta stick it out. Okay. I wanna be Raven and Beast Boy for Halloween so much. Oh, that'd be so cute. I actually went as Raven for Halloween one year. Um, it was very fun. At the time, my hair was purple, so it was kind of perfect. You know what is crazy? I have never done Anastasia fan art before, and I love this movie. My friend and I saw, um, my friend and I saw the musical, the like Broadway musical, when it came through to Toronto. It was very magical. I need more show where it's immediate romance. I'm impatient. Grim Reaper, I'm the same. I think that's why, like with Apothecary Diaries, going in thinking it was a romance, I was like, where is it? Um, <laughs> if you like shoujo, like cute uh, romance animes, I would recommend um, A Sign of Affection. Like the male lead, just like, he's going in. like. He's like, I like you, we're making it happen, which I really appreciated. <laughs> Dr. Stone season one was kind of fun, but not really interested in watching the continuation. Mm, okay, that's fair. Just trust somehow slow burn romance works for Jin Shi and Mao Mao. Okay, 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 okay. Anastasia won the battle, but Starfire won the war with maybe a Teen Titans fan art series. Andy, you are correct. I, I would definitely say that is a good a good way to put it because yeah if anything seeing the level of investment in Starfire fan art for me it's like encouraged me because I already wanted to do Starfire bleh, words Starfire and Raven fan art to begin with so if anything you guys have just like fully convinced me and I'll be sure to make sure I'll be sure to make sure. <laughs> I'll make sure that um, I do curly hair Starfire. Because even though like my reference point for Teen Titans is like the Teen Titans um, animated show from like the early 2000s, um, I do know that there's obviously lots of other iterations of her character design and like that big long curly hair is amazing. So I will definitely use that as inspo. So elegant this pose. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> we got to get her regal princess vibes. We talked about Hunter Hunter last time, but damn, I'd love to see you draw a character even if you're if you never get through watching it. <laughs> Who would I draw? Probably Killua, probably, right? True true. I guess the weight makes it more thrilling. Yeah, I understand. Like that second season of Bridgerton, that's slow burn. Oh my gosh. I remember being traumatized as a kid when I looked up the in real life Anastasia. Yeah, the um, the movie definitely makes it less uh, less intense. I love Marmalade Boy only because it's messy and full of teenage drama. I haven't seen or read that one. Curly hair. Watch Heaven's Official Blessing for a Romance. I love that one. Um, yeah, I really enjoy Heaven Heaven's Official Blessing. Everyone likes the old Teen Titans better than Teen Titans Go. I mean, Teen Titans, in my opinion, is the superior choice. 
when i say slow burn i don't mean like a normal length i mean slow burn that makes me desperate and beg for them to get together give me years please no no that's painful i can't do it i'm too impatient <laughs> You know what I don't do often? An updo. I feel like so often I'm drawing my characters with their hair down. So. What does this necklace look like? Mm. It's kind of like a choker. Yes, okay. And the earrings, kind of hard to see, but I'll just... This is a little bit smaller, so I'll keep it kind of simple. I'm back. Welcome, welcome. Yes, Kiloa, my boy. <laughs> yeah, Kiloa was probably Kiloa and what was his name? The blonde, blonde one. My brain wanted to call him Paprika, but I know that's not that's not his name. Um, <laughs> The Anastasia animated movie scares me. I'm so scared of magic, lol. My daughter cussed for the first time a few minutes into the movie. She did cuss in context. I'm so proud of her. She was three. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I loved Anastasia. Um, I don't know if it actually spooked me out though. For me, when I was a kid, what scared me was Ursula in Little Mermaid. She scared me. But now as an adult, I'm like, she's so iconic. <laughs> Kura Pika, okay, I was like, Paprika? I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Kura Pika, okay, thank you. <laughs> Slow burns kill me, especially if both characters know that they like each other, right? Oh my gosh. I just watched one day on Netflix and that was a slow burn that took years. No, no, too much, too much. I love the pain. I want to see the characters get together and the show immediately ends. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's just like, yeah. Oh, uh, have you drawn Hua Chung? He's so sassy and gorgeous. I want to do Heaven's Official Blessing fan art, for sure. I haven't done it yet, but I want to. Don Bluth. I'm going to make one of the most tragic historical figures into an animated classic fairy tale because screw Disney. <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, I wish we got more Don Bluth animated movies. What happened? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna keep it really, really simple. Um, so I think I will use the same marker that I used for Sophie.
paprika was close. <laughs> I don't think there was a Disney villain that scared me. I guess I was a scrappy kid. I love that. I love that. Is Heaven Heaven's official blessing that good? I'm considering watching it. It's... I like it, but I can see it being potentially kind of hard to get into just because it is a Chinese uh, series and like the magic system and world building is like kind of confusing <laughs> um but it is a bl uh unfortunately there is like some censorship around it so it's like kind of implied and not like as overt but uh it's kind of subtle and magical and i like the character designs <laughs> mr booth uh, so Mr. Bluth's still doing stuff. In fact, he gives private animation lessons. Wow, that's amazing. I love to hear it. Um, yeah, I loved... Um, what was the other one? Swan Princess? Is that Don Bluth? No. I'm trying to remember... No, All Dogs Go to Heaven, right? Is that Don Bluth? I loved that movie. I'm drawing a blank. I know that there's other Don Bluth movies that I love. Thumbelina? Ah! Got my hand in the wet. I should work <laughs> uh, left to right. I like how your kneadable eraser looks gray marble with red details. I know, right? My my kneadable erasers always turn purple um, because there's so much red pigment in them. Like, I only use <laughs> red cold erase pencils. <laughs> Anyone have any anime recs with little slash no romance? I'm craving that vibe right now. I recently watched I'm not done it yet but I was watching solo leveling which is based off of a manhwa and the opening is sung by TXT <laughs> um, and yeah it has no romance um, it is very much a like action shonen series but I kind of dropped it for now because I found that the main character was like I, I couldn't really root for him anymore like he just wasn't like I didn't feel invested in him so I don't know if I'm necessarily recommend I don't know people really like it though so but chat feel free to recommend stuff that is not romance The opening song to Lion King made me scream with terror as a baby. Really? Oh my gosh. Lion King is like, was my favorite. Like I watched it to death. I could recite the dialogue. <laughs> I probably still could, honestly. Okay, with Anastasia. So with Sophie, we did that like coral color as um, the the shadow but do i want to switch it up perhaps let's see don bluth made an american tale thumbelina the secret of nim i didn't see that one he also animated for the dragon slayer games and space ace oh. try usama ranking and 
something a bit older monster ah osama ranking that's true ranking of kings that one is very unique it the art style is super cute it feels very different from a typical anime and the series follows like a young prince um yeah that's a good that's a good one um that's a good suggestion it's very unique and definitely no romance whatsoever the weird blubbery dragon thing evil sidekick from barbie the diamond castle always scared me he's supposed to be comedic but i was not laughing girl <laughs> i've actually never seen any of the barbie movies before but i know people love them the witch and the beast girl is cursed by a witch and has to work for a magical society to get her body back there is a lot of kissing but it's not romantic it's complicated oh interesting um, I've been loving Delicious in Dungeon recently. Yes, that's another one that people have been really loving lately. Um, I've only seen the first episode, but <laughs> I know that uh, that's, a, that's something that people are really enjoying right now. Ooh, okay, yes. We're gonna use this like kind of more muted pink. I think that'll be fun for something a little different. Um, and... Oh, wait, but you know what? <clears throat> Anastasia's hair, I feel like maybe <laughs> the warmer coral makes more sense color palette wise. I didn't think about that, hold on. Let me do her hair and then, and then go from there. How could I forget A Land Before Time was also a Don Bluth production. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. You guys, you don't understand. I was obsessed with The Land Before Time. I cannot watch the beginning of that movie without bawling my eyes out. Oh my God. I loved Land Before Time. My McDonald's order arrived just in time to, the, to see the coloring. Yay. Perfect. Do it yourself is adorable. No ram no romance, just lots of wholesome friend things. Cute, cute. I still watch the Barbie movies. I know all the songs. Amazing. I used to be terrified of the movie version of Where the Wild Things Are. I had nightmares for weeks for no reason. I can kind of see that though. It's kind of spooky. I can see that. Um, I remembered I told my aunt when I was seven that my favorite song from The Lion King was Be Prepared and she looked at me like I was insane. What can I say? Even little me loved a good villain song. Younger you had taste. <laughs> Be Prepared is so epic. Yeah, Anastasia is, we're going very simple, which I kind of am enjoying. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I feel like with this super, super warm hair color, the coral makes more sense. So let's just, thankfully with paint markers, doop, just go right over it and it's all good. Land Before Time make your kid cry in an hour or less 100% Land Before Time and Fox and the Hound Bambi like no wonder no wonder I cry at movies all the time like these are the things that I grew up with <laughs> Ooh, 
As a kid, I watched stuff like Tremors, Jaws, and The Ring with my cousin, so I wasn't really scared by the animated stuff. Finally, can't stand anything horror now. Wow, you were watching some, some dark stuff as a kid. <laughs> Even parts of uh, Attack on Titan was too gruesome for me. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Attack on Titan is pretty brutal. Yeah, I can't watch too much scary shows or movies. The beginning of Supernatural and Stranger Things was a bit too much, but they chilled out and I enjoyed them over and over. The first season of Stranger Things is pretty spooky. Like, I'm not a horror fan, and I remember being like, oh, this is actually kind of spooky. Um, but I do agree that it um, got less scary after they revealed the monster. I did something to my elbow joint. I don't know what happened. I might have to search up Anastasia after this stream. It is a fantastic animated musical. I love it. I was obsessed with Supernatural as a teen. <laughs> I never watched it, but uh, I know a fair chunk about it because I used to be on Tumblr. <laughs> you could not escape the super sure, super who lock fans on Tumblr <laughs> back in the day. I'll Make a Man Out of You is still my favorite Disney song. It goes hard every time. Oh, I'll Make a Man Out of You is so good. So good. I love that song so much. Yeah, I'll break out into song for that one, 100%. I think my friends and I have done it for karaoke before too. <laughs> love seeing you problem solve in real life. Thank you. Yeah, that definitely is like a highlight for, um, or like a perk of the, the live streams for sure. It's like seeing it, seeing it all go down in real time. Guilty of being a super Hulok fan. Oh no, <laughs> that's fine. You're not the only one. There's so many out there. And I will say, um, I did end up watching Sherlock like many years later and I was like, I understand, it's good. Um, or at least the first few seasons. The last season, um, not so much, but I really enjoyed it. I'm not like a Benedict Cumberbatch girly, but I was like, I understand why the hype, because it was a great show. I stepped away for a bit and coming back to see the chat talking about all these nostalgic movies. <laughs> We're all about nostalgia on this channel, for sure. I have not watched Orphan Black. Dishonor, <laughs> dishonor on you, dishonor on your family, dishonor on your cow. <laughs> the Mulan is so good, so good, so good. Love Mulan. about what to do for her lips oh maybe that not red because her lips are not red but mm, okay that actually this color I like for maybe the shading on her hair And then 
then maybe I will do the this for the bottom lip and then oh okay wait I have an idea kind of mixing them a little bit while it's wet don't do that often with um, paint markers but there we go The first three seasons of Once Upon a Time was so good, but I stopped myself watching any further because I knew it was going to go downhill. If I sense something's off, I'll stop watching immediately. I'm the same. I'm the same. Like, I never watch that show, but I tend to do that as well. Like, I have, like, there's something will happen in a series, and I'm like, if this is not going my way, then I'm like, I don't want to watch it anymore. Um, I guess if it's going to go downhill versus something doesn't doesn't go my way story-wise is different <laughs> but I'm a stubborn like that but yeah I tend to drop shows if it's just like I'm not feeling it anymore okie dokie now I have to go straighten my hair and go to bed sadly bye bye love the stream as always thanks for joining <gasps> it's 5 43 That means I've been streaming for more than four hours. That is crazy. No wonder my butt hurts. <laughs> wow, okay, we're gonna finish Anastasia and then we're gonna go, cause I need to eat dinner and stand. Um, my butt is, uh, is feeling it. Oh my God, Dishonor is a quote my husband and I say to each other all the time. Uh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, I'm finally going to listen to the hydration reminders and drink laminate. There you go. Um, the main character in Once Upon a Time got into a romance I hated. So that was also a big factor. Mm -hmm, I see you. I see you. I remembered um, uh, doing that with... Do you remember? Do you guys remember the show Jane the Virgin? Um, same similar thing. Like I could tell... That the series was taking her in uh, to the love interest that I wasn't as invested in, and so I dropped it. <laughs> so stubborn like that. Hence, hence why I haven't finished fruits baskets either. What color is Anastasia's eyes? Blue, green, blue. Green? <laughs> uh, green? It's hard to tell, actually. Probably green. Green might make sense because she's got the red hair. I feel like character designers love that color combo, understandably. Green. Okay, we'll go green. Yeah, girl. I was surprised to see that you're still streaming, girl. This is this is wild. I am insane. But you know what it means? I'm having a good time. Once upon a time was good until Elsa and Anna came into the series. Oh, weird. gotta take care of that tush I know man oh my god remember back in the day I don't know I mean some of you might know but back in the day I used to stand during my live streams the whole time so I would have the issue of my knees and feet hurting four hours holy cow Tina has endurance I this is bananas Just looked it up it's blue oh my god really okay well i guess we'll go blue because honestly this the the sketchbook page is blue anyways so thank you for looking it up for me <laughs> 
so for the like white silver parts i think i'm gonna do yeah it's like ah gonna be a combination of this blue and this purpley color the adjustable desk. I do have, wait, I literally am using a standing desk right now, but it does mean I would have to change the, um, the tripod as well to stand. But I could do that. I mean, I'm going to be done soon. So next time, next time, or do I do it right now? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll save it for next time, but I am literally using a standing desk. So I should do that. No regrets, I'm having a great time here. Yay, I'm glad. That means I've been watching for almost four hours. Whoa. Wow, thanks for joining me for so long. Um, yeah, I remember that's why I was surprised when you said you were sitting. <laughs> yes, we've, we've changed the game. Okay, 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 let's do... Ooh, 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 okay. Are we in frame here? This marker is being very annoying. I feel like I just need to bust out a paint, um, a paintbrush. What is she doing? Yeah, the, the nib must be uh, clogged or something. That is so unfortunate. You might have to clean the nib. Yeah, I never do that. I should do that more often. It's also probably because I haven't used these markers in so long. So like parts of it got dried up. It's family day on Sunday and I've been knowing them to hang out with you. Oh, oh no, <laughs> sorry to your family. <laughs> no regrets. <sighs> I have to sleep now, but during those four hours, I actually accomplished a few tasks. I've been procrastinating for weeks and did more than half of the pinning for my friends. So thanks for the stream, Tina. Thanks, Nifty. Have a good sleep. Glad that you were able to, ha happy that I was able to keep you company while you got stuff done. Just let it sit in warm soapy water for a bit. Okay, thank you so much. I will definitely do that. Later. <laughs> Okay, we're very close, very close, very close. Um, now let's do her eyes, which we have established. She has blue eyes to many of our surprise. <laughs> Okay. 
There's a lot of wet paint happening here, so I'm gonna <laughs> let that sit for a bit. Uh, but now I guess I can just go ahead and start doing the line art. Yeah, I gotta let her, the irises dry as well. But I can go ahead and start doing some of the line art for the areas without wet paint. I've been procrastinating on homework for the past four hours. No regrets though. Oh my God. <laughs> Real quick before we finish up, I just want to say how beautiful your channel is and how well put together your videos. Um, your videos are, it's hard to find YouTuber artists who put a lot of effort into their videos. Aw, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I definitely, um, yeah, YouTube is definitely a lot of, um, a lot of work so I really appreciate that thanks so much but it's one of those things where it's a lot of work but I really do love um, having this community and being able to share my art process but also you know like bits of my life and what I'm into and you know like be a safe space um, for everybody so I definitely would not be doing live streams every month if um, if I didn't enjoy them so it's always a great time good vibes good energy I got so much stuff done too. My cornbread turned out great and I made delicious maple butter and the raspberry lemonade cookies came out cakey, still delicious and hubby and I got the cleaning done. That's amazing, Andy. That's so good to hear. Very accomplished day for you. I'm a biology student and I'm working on some animal studies and your live streams are so calming. Yay, 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 I'm glad. Haven't done anything productive. Don't worry about it. No judgment here. You don't have to be productive. Perfectly fine to just hang out and vibe. It's Sunday after all. The day of rest, so some say. <laughs>
<clears throat> okay, sorry guys. <laughs> um, do you ever like swallow your saliva wrong and then you just start dying? <laughs> Having a coughing fit? I was like, oh no. Um, so, okay, now my throat is all weird, but... Um, <laughs> like, what? Okay. I'm just watching and chatting the past couple hours. Love that, love that. You inspired me to draw with Posca pens, therefore I'm drawing a black hat with a long pastel rainbow neck. First stream I have attended and I have loved the atmosphere of you and your art. Thanks so much, Alicia, I'm so glad. Yeah, pen markers are so fun. Um, I love this new friend of mine because she texted say they won't stay for long for from neck pain and I told her to worry because hubby and I are broken too. Oh, old age, 30s. We can just hang and be broken together. 100%. That's how my friends and I are now too. Like, we getting old. I know that 30 is not that old, but 30 is unfortunately the time when you start to feel your age catching up to you uh, in terms of the body. It's just not as nimble as it used to be. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. Finally caught a stream. Oh no, Passion Phantom, I'm so sorry. I've literally been streaming for like four hours, so I'm actually gonna be going very soon. But you'll have a very long stream to be able to watch from the beginning when I'm done. <laughs> Wrong pipe action. WPA, that's so funny. <laughs> when your eyes are watering and you've choked on nothing, I'll get that so often. Literally, I was like crying, guys. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, the pipes get confused sometimes. Oh no, Tina, I'm so glad you're okay. I choke on my spit way too often that when what is normal i feel your pain <laughs> it is honestly so silly okay 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 i sound oh my gosh okay I'm bewildered at how long I've been streaming for. It is wild. <laughs> but so much fun. I am here I need to sleep probably oh my gosh <laughs> <clears throat> it's midnight here but I will stay till the end damn it oh thank you <clears throat> um, when you can't bend your knees without making a sound or your back is so, in so much pain is a reminder that we aren't supposed to be here <laughs> POV when 30s was old age it's 11 p.m. here, but I'm enjoying too much, and I usually sleep at like 3 a.m. anyways. Oh my gosh, you're a night owl. I mean, I actually went to bed at 3 a.m. last night, too. Um, literally, my friend and I were just drinking, watching K-pop music videos. <laughs> Every time you stream, the time creeps up on you. I know! Time flies when you're having a good time. Hi, Tina. I watched a stream while drawing some flowers. I could see from the window of a boy's place that I'm seeing. He dropped me home, but I'm happy to see that you're still streaming. Aww, I'm glad that you're home safe and I love that you were drawing some flowers. That's very sweet. <clears throat> I didn't know that you were going to stream for this long. I thought time, uh, time I woke up from a nap, you already ended the stream, but before I went to sleep, you're still streaming. 
I went to bed at 4.30 a.m. Insomnia sucks. Oh no, I'm sorry. My saving grace right now has been, um, what's it called? Melatonin. And uh, that's, that's what's been allowing me to sleep. But I know you're not supposed to take it. Like, you're not supposed to rely on it um, all the time. But unfortunately, that's where I'm at right now. Artists who interact with their fan base. It's so nice to interact with your content creators, especially with other artists. It's so fun. Yay, I'm so glad. Thank you. I have a very great community with you guys here. It's so much fun. She's turning out so good. Thank you. Anas Anastasia's expression is so cool right now. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of like she's serving, you know? <laughs> um, If looks could kill, I feel sorry for whoever Anastasia is looking at right now, <laughs> right? <laughs> She's sassy. She's fierce. So, to replace melatonin, try weed. <laughs> Fair. I know that's like a very relaxing thing for people, but I do not partake personally. What plans do you have for today? Today is super chill. Basically, like my plan for today was this live stream. Um, so I'll probably end up uh, after this, I'll eat dinner and watch some anime, I think, or some more TXTs to do. Um, Cause yeah, I've been on an anime kick lately. What have I, what do I have in store to watch? I could either watch Apothecary Diaries or, mm, That dungeon one, dungeon meshy. We'll see. <clears throat> maybe I'll try. Yeah, maybe I should keep going with Apothecary Diaries. I feel like um, I'm already like pretty well through. Like I've been watching. I've seen like at least like five or six episodes. So I think that's that's probably on my. Maybe I'll do that. Or actually, I think there might be some episodes of Heaven's Officials Blessing that I haven't. Um finished yet where is my white posca marker is it over here mm, i don't know where it is uh shoot hello where are you <laughs> hmm i don't know Yeah, I'm kind of on a meds and supplements cleanse, but want to try that cherry juice milk trick. Oh, no, I haven't heard of that. Tomorrow I get to pick my dorm from my last semester of college. I hope I get the one I want. Oh, that's exciting. I hope that uh, you're able to as well. I just started watching, I started One Piece, the live action, so good. I was surprised. Yay, I'm glad. The live action One Piece is pretty fun. Um, I am a little bit obsessed with Makenyu as Zoro. You know <laughs> literally I was like there's this one TikTok is like watching one piece for the plot and then it's just like a compilation of Makenyu as Zoro it's like the plot <laughs> that was me 100% kind of play spades with the fam later amazing love that it's always the white Posca that disappears he's so hot I know right mm, yeah <laughs> good casting really good casting and he does all of his own stunts and choreo which is incredible okay let me go search for this possible point more oh i see it <clears throat>
do we dare oh you know what <laughs> it's so funny i knew i knew i used this marker a lot i literally have two replacements already ready to go um but i will take the advice of um cleaning the nib first before i open the new ones because yeah this thing is <clears throat> clearly has paint in it but it just doesn't want to cooperate right now um, but that's fine i think we are going to leave it there um i had so much fun in today's live stream clearly i've been here forever um let's zoom out so we can see the damage look at my desk <laughs> it's like so chaotic over there um okay so we have this is previous time but yeah we did roy mustang which took forever uh we have sophie which i don't know what is going on with this but i need to fix it i just she was turning out so cute and then the dark eyes is throwing me off so i will come back and revise that somehow and we got some anastasia down here which i will also revise this like top of the dress here it's a little funky but i need to stand massage my butt um <laughs> from sitting for so long and eat dinner <clears throat> and clear my windpipes because they're still a little funky from choking earlier <laughs> <laughs> um it's been so much fun love this stream it was so entertaining so cute thank you so much guys it was so fun i apologize to the ones who got here late um but i will definitely have the stream up for you to watch back from the beginning thank you tina for the stream thanks for the chat y'all are cool was a chill vibe the libra energy was big today take care tina thank you yes i love the poll option so definitely going to be doing that more often in the future and i will um perhaps perhaps honestly next stream maybe we'll just finish this page um finish this page out we'll do a little squirtle somewhere um <clears throat> I don't know when the next stream will be. I have two YouTube videos to make this month and I wanna open up the shop. So that does mean I'm gonna be a little bit busy. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll do a second live stream this month, but if I do, keep an eye out on YouTube community tab, Patreon, and my Instagram stories. Uh, for those of you who really like these like really long form chatty kind of background noise types of things, I have a monthly podcast on my Patreon. If you join the $3 tier or higher, um, you'll get access to like over a dozen hour long podcasts where it's a lot like this, but much more controlled. <laughs> um, and I talk about like my monthly favorites, like what I'm watching, what I'm getting up to work wise, um, like personal life stuff. So just, you know, if you like having that kind of thing in the background, I also all have like, I have, um, my all of my like previous art live streams here on youtube just like available to, for you to watch as well um and yeah so um let's uh let's check out the chat before i go these turned out beautifully oh my god thank you for being the highlight of my day your streams are the best have a great day tina and humans of the internet thanks so much well done glad to catch the end we'll watch the middle when you say goodbye um love uh live while packing orders or something uh these are the only streams i watch the full thing because i love watching your process so much and chatting oh thanks guys you saw you guys are so nice um <laughs> okay i'm not gonna prolong the the ending as badly as i normally do so we're gonna call it here thanks so much i hope you all have an amazing day or evening and i will catch you in the next one look forward to two youtube videos this month yay bye bye